Hello everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We are! Yay! Yay! Indeed, tonight we are simply down one Sam Regal because apparently he has priorities. Where is he? I actually don't know. Not Watching yeah. his kids. Is it really? Is that where he's at? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. That's weird. Well, Man, he, I feel like he does. <laughs> None of us remember where he is. What is his mother's <laughs> name? What is his mother's <laughs> name? It's <laughs> Lenore, I know it. It's Scantlin. You don't care about me. What am I doing Thursday night? It's not that we don't remember, we just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Sam, wherever you are, you're not watching, so you'll never hear this again. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. It's uh, true. Yeah, it's it's so hilarious because it's true. Uh, but yeah, before we get into tonight's episode, uh, let's get through a few announcements here. First and foremost, uh, tonight we have the delight of being sponsored by our returning friends from Puzzle Quest. Uh, Puzzle Quest, uh, they're not pushing anything particular, but uh, we so wanted to talk about a bit how they're just. The Marvel Puzzle Quest is awesome. I've been playing Puzzle Quest since it first came out. Um, I remember spending many angry hours on Xbox Live getting my ass <laughs> kicked by people in Puzzle Quest when it first came there. Um, but Talison, do you have anything more to it's say? It's a big anniversary for them. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's Puzzle Quest's uh, ten year anniversary. Wow, um, really? Yeah, yeah, and uh, gosh, golly, um, Puzzle Quest, Marvel, Marvel Puzzle Quest, Marvel and Puzzle Quest. You're not Sam I'm not Sam Regal. I'm, Regal. Regal. I'm doing my best. I was just given this. I thought he was going to be here. Yeah. Everyone was talking like I brought. We brought his things out. I thought he was going to be here, and now I have this, and I have to somehow, you know. Okay, Did you just fine. Play on his harmonica or something. Yeah, I'm yeah. not touching that. I know where it's been. Oh, that's, <laughs> it's a hard truth that only one of us is irreplaceable. That's yeah. so true. This is true. Yeah. But I, but I, I, I can say that I do love comic books. I love comic books. I love. Uh, <laughs> Three jewel replacement games that I can play on You're airplanes, Marvel, and when I don't want to, like when I want to pretend to listen to my family over Christmas, it's great. You're killing it, man. Yeah. I know, and I suddenly realized a couple of them watch the show, and now they know what I'm that I'm not really texting you guys. <laughs> Tom and pulls out a curly blonde wig, <laughs> starts jamming candy bars in his mouth. <laughs> but Marvel Puzzle Quest is great because Marvel it's because it's 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 all the fun of the of the three gem bejeweled style games, but you can also collect characters if you're a big nerd like I am, and they've got. Basics like Thor and Iron Man, sure, and like new, like fun ones like like you know Miss Marvel. Black Widow? Do they have Black Widow? They have Black Widow. Yeah, Black Widow do. is actually one of the first ones I ever got. But they've also got like crazy ones. They've got Devil Dinosaur. That's nuts. <laughs> like that's pretty intense, that's actually. Pretty nuts. Marvel Puzzle Quest. Because do they have slapstick? I'm just, in, I'm like even more embarrassed that I know you now. It was already bad, and now, just, this is why you're never gonna be on my show, Matt. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're never gonna be on my show because you don't have time. I know. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's Marvel, exactly Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thank, thank you guys. You can get see it on Steam, Amazon App Store, Google Play, Apple Store. It's all over the place. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Go to Marvel Puzzle Quest. Yay! Yeah. Next up, um, do we have any merch updates? Or are we just oh, still oh. kicking ass in the store? Hey, there's that stuff right. in the store, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you should go look in the store and see what is there. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. Here that was adorable. <laughs> um, we have WonderCon coming up, <laughs> which we're excited about. Uh, it's if you guys are able to come to WonderCon in Anaheim, California, April first on Saturday, we are having our Tox Machina live panel from yes. two to three p.m. Um, in the arena, the big room there. Come and, to Anaheim, four thousand seats. Yeah. yeah, big seats. We're trying to fill, the, seats. Trying to fill the room because Comfy we managed seats. to fill the room. We can use that as an example as to why we have good crowds and we can hopefully yeah. do more events in more places in the country we or around the world and see you guys in person. On the oh, right. okay. oh yeah. We Really? We want to see everyone within a okay. reasonable driving or flying distance. Also, mm -hmm. Talison and I are going to fist fight till one of us is dead or unconscious. Oh. <laughs> They're going to break a pool cue. While drunk. Yeah. That's new. I didn't. It's going to be epic. Okay, so that's a thing. That, that's a thing. Just roll it. See that? Yeah. yeah Got yes, a lot Sam. of pen up yes, aggression, Tal. I'm ready. A <laughs> lot of pen up aggression. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Perfect. I want to bruise right Dark here. Times. April 1st. I want to bruise. Here's the EPM and Wonder God. <laughs> Our panel. And uh, Critical Brawl. Oh, we just bare fisted. Um, speaking of Talison uh, unconscious, Wednesday Club. Oh God, that's right. <laughs> Greg Way. Uh, good, good. Uh, 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 we had a great time this week with uh, talking about Swamp Thing and and horror comics. Next week it's going to be we're just going to be talking vaguely about DC comics. Uh, everything from Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, the whole set of them and all the weirdness, and kind of talking about uh, 52, what it is. Why people kind of seemed weird about it, and why people are coming back to read it now, and it's kind of like a brief, 
Overlook on everything DC Comics. It's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be fun. It was a weird time. Yeah, it was a weird time. Yep. Yeah. It's getting cooler now. I feel like when people talk about DC Comics, they just only vaguely talk about DC Comics these days. We're gonna try and see how many euphemisms we can like. We're gonna talk about it like 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 the dog. I know that you think this is a new dog, but it's really the same dog. He's just better now. Yeah, we're working on it. Uh, and signal boost. Thank you. And signal boost. Our good, our good friend of the show, David Nett, actually. His episode just went up today. David Nett, who is an amazing uh, dungeon master. You actually see him on Roundtable, uh, the new show that just uh, hopped up on Alpha. Um, yep. He's mm -hmm. also our trainer, who's been kicking our ass in the he gym. He's our personal hey. trainer. Yep. Yeah. I'm we did a Hamilton workout yesterday. Yeah. Oh man, it was so cool. Four sets of corsets. Four sets your, of corsets. Did you, did you uh -huh. take your shots? Or did you, you were not I did. I did. Well, I rised up oh. when doing squats. And yeah. Peggy, like, just not happy to be there. Yeah. Perfect. And if you go to iTunes, you can get the Signal Boost ringtone for your phone, and it's pretty great. Also, we have another surprise coming next week that I'm pretty stoked about, but you have to wait. There you no go. One, no one probably cares. Hey, wait. But I I'm care. I'm so excited. So, right. yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks, I'm so Laura. I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> scared. <laughs> Best job. Those who don't know what that is, you're young. You're young. <laughs> you too, bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, then also today, um, what was it? The. The episode of Celebrity and D. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a, there, there's a preview on on YouTube, and yeah. the full episode's up on Alpha right now. I think yeah. hopefully we win it out down the road. But it's uh, with Joe out. Magniello, who is uh, legitimately a really awesome guy. We got to know each other pretty well through the process, and he's a huge like old school RPG like. D, like GM'd GURPS and riffs for years in the late 80s at his local comic shop. Like, oh. I would never have guessed. We nerded out extremely hard. He's one yeah. of my new favorite people. He was pretty um, cool. He's pretty so, cool. check it out. We had all a good time. And he had a cool hat. And yeah. he had a cool hat, and yeah. he had a fun character, and he got to play uh, with a younger uh, Keyleth and Percival in a one shot that is much technically happy. an Alexandria yeah. Cannon. Yeah. I was much happier. Uh. <laughs> I was not. No. No. You were, you were I was You're, not. Yeah. And of but course, next yeah. Tuesday, you can come and see some of us as well as our fantastic host, Brian Foster, on Tox Machina, uh, Tuesday at 7 p.m. here on Twitch or Alpha. And don't forget to check that out. It'll be about this episode. Now, lest I am mistaken, I think we're done. But And that means. No! 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 It's time. No! Hey, look at this cool dice bag I have. To start the episode. It's got a bear. Of Critical Role. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back, everybody. <laughs> nice one, Laura. A rare oh, Laura. Really Laura. Sorry. <laughs> well done. Toss it over here. <laughs> so, bringing us yeah. into tonight's episode, last we left off, Vox Machina, after completing their assault and destruction of the Chroma Conclave, they are tying up loose ends of various adventure hooks and dangers they, they left out in the open from earlier or during that whole adventure. Uh, after taking Keyleth to Vesra to take her final trial of the Aramente, her long, many-year journey to prove her ability to lead her people, uh, the Arishari, you return to Zephra, 
uh, met her father, expressed that the trial was complete and the ceremony took place in which Keyleth was given the mantle and uh, officially titled as the Voice of the Tempest, the now standing leader of the Arashari. Which, by the way, I'm supposed to give you this. What, what oh, is that the thing? That's the thing. No, 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 no. That's you get another thing? Yeah. I think this is my, my leadership thing. Your, yeah? No, well, you, ha you have your leadership That's your mantle. Feet. That's your mantle. Mantle thing. Oh, so you got to not get another thing? thing? It's nothing crazy, but it's fun. Wait, is it a cloak? Don't you already have a cloak on? It's a mantle. Right. Right. mantle, it only goes to here. I gave that cloak to yeah. Care, Roth who has jacked yeah. that cloak. wore it away. <laughs> yeah, Roth has <laughs> jacked that <laughs> cloak. <laughs> I'd like to think there's a piece of paper like like pinned to his wall right now where he just yeah he just has the stats up there as a yeah. reminder. Is it framed? <laughs> <laughs> Please do that if you haven't already, Pat. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um. So after the ceremony is completed, what? Um, sorry, we're good. <laughs> Carry on. Perfect timing. Uh, rehearsal paid off. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 Don't, don't After the crowning, the ceremony coming to a close, the evening celebration kicks off, and as the setting sun begins to darken the sky, the people of Zephra are now bringing out foods and treats and cakes, and they're putting up ribbons of blue and white and gold and some of the nearby trees and doorways. Uh, and the uh, the folks of the Arashari tribe now are in, in the process of, of enjoying both the return of their people and the fact that there is now a clear head of leadership. And uh, you guys are now surrounded, kind of in the, you know, basking in the afterglow of the event, as well as deciding with slow rising tension what you have as the next step in your journey. So, what would you guys like to do? Charge headlong into danger <laughs> with no lessons having been learned. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like it's day one, yeah. day one box knocking. <laughs> Naked and, and running in yeah. full steam. <laughs> like right now. Yeah. Right no vestiges, <laughs> no nothing. Uh, that would be the fun. best end to that ceremony. Yeah. Like, Peace. Just, it's our save game plus. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. But can I go talk to Keyleth actually? Yes. I did want to ask you. Yeah. Are you allowed to leave? How does this work, exactly? I mean, I'm the chief. I can do whatever I want, right? I don't know, actually. Should we talk to your dad? I should maybe talk to dad. All right. Yeah. I go talk to dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as, as you, you know, and wherever you walk now, because you have the mantle upon you and you have the kind of cascading autumn-colored leaf cloak that flows behind you, it, it still seems very ceremonial in this kind of jovial party-based atmosphere. Yeah. Um, and as you kind of move, you still can't help but notice that all eyes are on you at any given point in time. People seem to be genuinely excited that you've returned and that you've taken up uh, this position. Um, eventually you make your way off where you can see there are a handful of kind of the, the older, the, um, uh, the more elder members of the, the, of the Zephyr tribe there around Korin currently, who notices you approach, she kind of shushes them all for a moment, turns to you, ah, Keyleth, my daughter, how, how can I help you? Corin, I was wondering if I could have a word with you for a minute. Of course. You, you do realize that you, you can still call me father. I mean, I know you're the leader, but... Can I? Is that, like, allowed? I don't really know. He puts his hand up and puts his arm around your shoulder and kind of guides you off away from the chaos of the celebration. You hear the, uh, you know, the whistling of music and flutes and, uh, you know, thin tanner drums going off in the distance, and is it kind of fades the further off you guys walk in the direction of the tree where the ceremony took place. Oh, sorry. You You're, should fire that guy. I will. <laughs> Shitty servants. <laughs> it's very windy up here, don't worry about it. Yeah, sorry, that's true. <clears throat> As you walk further away towards the tree, he kind of takes his arm off around your shoulder and says, now, I understand you have many questions and uh, we've prepared you as much as we could leading up to this journey you've gone on, but now that you're here. <laughs> I guess. Um, primarily, the people of Zephyr look to you for guidance when choices are hard, difficult. Okay. You are the, the acting head of law, like I've been all this time. If there is conflict, if there is uh, difficulty, if there is a challenge that presents itself, that requires mm -hmm. the wisdom 
of a leader to step in. Right. That's when you're called upon. So, I'm, I'm confused. Was the Aramente my training to be a leader? I, is there like a, because if you apparently prepared me as best as you could before I left, I don't know how well you all did. <laughs> There so I'm just wondering if I am I need to expect that again is this is this just me figuring this out again or or do I have uh, do I have guidance The nature of the Aramente is fluid I have not taken it as I am not the leader It is tradition and it is both as far as I understand a uh, series of challenges and lessons tailored to it ever a person seems to be seeking, or what you can draw from that, but also to interface with the other tribes and establish that connection between all the leaderships. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, yeah. Did that? <laughs> You're right, you, you haven't taken it. That, that's been about 5% of my journey. All of the lessons that I've learned have been in the in-between. That is part of the Aramente itself. I know. I'm, I, I guess I, I'm, I, I don't know. Just trying to figure out how to navigate this. <laughs> like the leader I'm expected to be. <sighs> um, you know, y y Dad, you didn't tell me a lot about the world. And sometimes I think I get angry at you for that. I mean, you're not, you're not wrong to have these thoughts. Why didn't you tell me that the world could be so cruel and mean? Why did you never tell me that? We've tried, but you can only tell someone so much Do you not think we spent days warning you of the dangers and difficulty? We didn't thrust you out in the world with a smile going, have fun. We told you it was challenging. We warned you of the, the people you might interface with that you couldn't trust. And for the first legs of it, we, we had a few scouts keeping an eye. What? just to make sure you were safe. Um, okay. But? It just kind of sounds like it was advice coming from people who didn't really fully know. To be fair, when every parent has a child come of age, you can only coddle them so far. Every bird has to be kicked out of the nest for it to learn to fly. Not because we want to, but because that's how things are. I know, and I, I thank you for that. Um, I guess I'm just wondering what's next. Now what? Now, as the leader of these people, you go and learn how best we can establish ourselves in this countryside. Where once we, Gwisar, Taldore, as the humans call it, all of our civilizations are merging. Isolation that we've relied upon is becoming less and less viable. I agree. And so, Part of, I think, what you have already begun is finding a way to bring not just the Ashari, but Sephra as well, necessary friendships and allies. Our, our people need to be connected to the rest of the world that we've sworn to protect. I understand the need for our isolation, but I often wonder if we had a few close allies on alert, 
if the Thordak incident might have gone a little bit differently. I agree. I still need time with Vox Machina. We still have things we need to complete. And then I promise I, I will return. All right, come back. Do what you need to. You're not bound to this mountain. Just know that your heart is here. And we'll call for you if we need you. And when you're not needed beyond it, this is your home. Thanks, Dad. I'm proud of you. And his, his kind of professional exterior falls away and he just steps forward and kind of gives you a big, warm, fatherly embrace and just holds you there. Okay, Dad. Okay. I, 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 uh, okay. Think, okay. Sorry. <laughs> he writes his posture, <clears throat> shoulders back. I do the same. Adjust my mantle a little bit. Yeah. Another question. Do I have to wear this like all the time? It's a little unwieldy. It feels a little frou frou y. It's kind of ceremonial. It, it is. It's just, it's I, a little, I feel like I'm going to trip on it. it you don't have, uh, you know, it's more just do what you like. It's okay. yours. It's going upstairs in it, like in, in the heel. It's a little, it's a little unwieldy. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm, you probably should. Okay, yeah. All right. Your okay. lips, what are they talking about? Uh, they were talking all about you, actually. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why it's, would they be talking about whole conversation about, me? about you. You were full of shit. <laughs> no, no, she was saying how much she admired you, and he was saying, mm, I don't think I feel it as much, and she was like, um, no, really, Dad, you just need a chance to really talk to him. And he was like, no, believe me, I did talk to him, and I don't feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. And then she was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I confide in you. I have you to lean on. You are the rock in my life. What would I they do They actually said you? that as well. They were talking about how amazing I am. While she was talking, <laughs> so to, to walk away. <laughs> Quietly as possible. <laughs> to so, so good. Ah, uh, the deception. <laughs> <laughs> so as as the ceremony dies down, the evening comes to rest. The night sky takes over, and you can still hear the gentle whistling of the winds through the various cracks and crevices in the mountainside. You're brought to your respective temporary abodes for the evening to rest and to plan and plot what you wish to do going forward. So, what do you want to do? Um. <clears throat> well, figuratively <coughs> or literally go to hell, I imagine. Yeah, are we, are we doing this? <laughs> this is like tomorrow morning, we're like heading out to hell. Yeah, uh, I mean, what are we gonna do? First things first. Every time. First things first, my brother. Right. Squad leader. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. How do we get there? Oh, she's got plane shift, right? Very shift. easily, actually. That's the easy part. We don't take like a ship. No. No, no sadly no we can't. No, but we don't know exactly where we're going to land. Right. Correct. Well, we know the city that we want to go to. I can to. get us somewhere within the city of Dis. I don't know if Dis city. <laughs> built this city. Uh. Oh man, man, this is going to it go looks great. Too easy. <laughs> I mean, when we went to the city of Brass, we didn't. We did not shift into the city of Brass. We dumped <coughs> oh, quite a ways away. Let me see. I've been on the outskirts. Yeah. So right. but we have no control over that. So we could pop into it. We could pop out of it. Yeah. yeah. So whatever plan we come up with, one branch of the future is complete bullshit improvisation. For you know, if we fall into the shit. Right. So there's no planning for that. So if we don't fall into the shit and we land somewhere relatively safe, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna play this? I well, see. hell. It is, it is complicated. And as hells go, <laughs> there could be worse hells. I've been reading. Right. Shocking. <laughs> and thank you. I, I've, I've been looking into this, and, and it seems that where we're going has a very, very structured hierarchy. There's, there's, it's very ordered, the society makes sense, and wherever we find this creature that we have to slay, 
There will probably already be forces working against him that would be happy to ally with us to help that happen. They're vicious, psychopathic creatures that are only function because they maintain these rules with each other it's about how they're ordered. supposed to act. They would be delighted for outsiders, I think. I think it would be possible to find people who would be delighted for outsiders to come in and do their dirty work for them. However, <clears throat> scale bearer, big, big high guy, scale bearer, really important guy, yeah. said not to make a scene. He said, if we make a scene that that will go poorly. Yes. Um, <clears throat> says him. There's no, there's no point titties. for sex tablets. We can't do that. That's not going to work. That's not they can no. see through that. They can see through things. It's, it's going to be. It's going to be complicated as well because we have value as well. Oh, I got it! We kidnap the president of hell and we assume his visage. What's the president? <laughs> his, name, his name is Asmodeus. And no, we are not kidnapping Asmodeus <laughs> of hell. What? Um, I think he's probably kind of powerful. He's really heavy. Yeah. Have you seen him? Lift him up. I've, I've, I've seen sketches. <laughs> You have. There's, there's. Well, I mean, I don't know how correct these are, but I'm. I'm morning. Morning has come. Oh wow. <coughs> oh god. Man. We talked these all night power and we squared <laughs> it away and we're going <laughs> to hell. So that home you talked all was, through the night. No, no rest was had. <laughs> um, um. Oh, very bright. Um. We're going to. We're going to. Be offered things. Or there's going to be deals made. There's so, going to be. Ooh. So we're talking negotiation or bull bullshitting our way. One or the other. It's going to be negotiating, probably with someone who will give us cover if we do some. I mean, work. is it similar to the City of Brass? It sounds so similar. They have a lot in common. Yes. Uh, the, it's even more structured, though. There's there's quite a complex. I, I, I alone have identified thirteen <coughs> different uh, uh, case systems within their function. It's really. Yes. System? There's there's imps, spine devils, barbed devils, chain devils, bone devils. There's all these different kinds of devil, and each devil has to answer to a different devil. They answer specifically to the devils that have fe uh, fealty over them, who in turn are in constant war with the devils who in fealty to other devils, and arc devils, and greater devils, who in turn all uh, owe their fealty to, to his motive. But sounds... we are not devils. We are not devils. weak and liable to be taken as slaves. We are not even slaves, we are consumables. We are... Then how are, do we ensure that we are not... I, I, I feel like we've, we've gotten a bit of a reputation for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that word has spread. We're not, <laughs> you know... You would know this, uh, yes. Percy, through your research. Um, it's not terribly uncommon for mortals to wander through the city of Dis specifically because it is where Goods, gold, and largely souls are traded to and from various uh, structures or entities within the hells and beyond. Um, and to just consume or eat someone means nothing. The true, the true worth of a soul is in corrupting it, and they do so through enticing, through through corrupting their morals, through driving mortals, uh, through bargains and pacts, to end up twisting into entities of order and evil as well, and then claim the soul of that. Oh, and yeah. contracts are a big thing. Turning contracts that, are turning a that into a lemur, yes. Yeah, into a lemur or other forms of soul-based energy. But con contracts are a very, very important part of the whole so the, economy. So the person that we made a contract with was a devil that ended up being the one that killed Pike, right? That was a devil? It was a devil disguised as uh, a demon? No, that was a demon disguised as yeah. a devil. Yeah, yeah, that was super okay. confusing. That was the one that we wished our way out of the contract. Correct, right. yes. Yeah, we I don't really have that, that anymore. Yeah, we don't have a wish. Okay, so no, we make to, no deals when No we go. deals, no contracts. No deals, no contracts, no shaking of hands, no signing of anything. <clears throat> no accepting of gifts. I feel like I'm gonna forget this. You don't, are. Um, oh, no. Just don't touch, touch anything. Don't touch anything. Might have to make you special gloves that don't have any fingers. Mm -hmm. I've got special gloves. Even special gloves. Like a but muff. we can wear over those gloves. Like a what? Like a like a hand muff. Like <laughs> like oven. <laughs> Terry don't does. make me a special hand muff. <laughs> <laughs> Terry does pipe in and is like, put little ears on it, oh but I have such fine like handwriting. If we need to sign anything, just let me know. No, I'm happy Terry, to. No, no, I've signed anything. a lot of contracts in my time. Yeah. My father no used to do contracts. Oh, contracts. Oh, although I'm sure you're good at reading contracts as well. This is true. Yes. 
you can read them, but don't sign Didn't them. How well. about that? <laughs> How about if I read them and I like it? No, no signing. <laughs> Unless Agree you want to, to stay in hell, and we come. Your back current here. contract with us actually stipulates that you can't have another contract enacted until you confer with all of us. Exclusivity. Yes. Yeah, so goes to his bag and pulls up the contract. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> I'm very thorough. <laughs> I Dodie, write this down. A contract. Be more careful about exclusivity in future contracts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you were there. This might have been just him and me getting oh, drunk at uh, one point. Is there any worth to like um, only like a few people or one or two going in to like get a lay of the land once we get there, instead of just moving in our truffle shuffle, no more <coughs> formation? <laughs> I feel like that could be very dangerous. For one person to go in alone. Um, yes, I agree. I'll do it. Grog, no. no. Very stealthy. No, you, last boy. time you were alone-ish, <laughs> you man. almost killed two guards. I, I will what say. What is the problem with that? <laughs> in She's got, a good point. You got away with it, right? <laughs> we, did we get we caught? Did we get caught, Terry? No, we did. Did we get caught? No. I don't know. I still have. No, we I only remember half of what happened. Terry is very excited about my plan. It's affecting his memory of what right. happened. Right. I think I blocked it out. <laughs> but what I remember was interesting. <laughs> I'm you could always look in Doty's um, diary and, and find out exactly what happened. Yeah, peruse the last 90 pages for the last hour. <laughs> Takes the book and starts thumbing through it real fast. You look a bit Doty, who still has like. Chunks and clusters of bits of red oh, hair God. from the yeah. somewhat removed goatee. Fu Manchu. Yeah. So, Percy. <laughs> the secret goatee. We, we know a lot yes, of things and, and people yeah. move through the Nine Hells. Mm. Uh, what's it say about Rakshasas in there? Where do they fall in the cast? Uh, it doesn't yeah, actually where say where Rakshasas sheet? would fall in the cast. Where are they um, sheets? You, there wasn't a terrible lot of information. <laughs> no. Not all the devils are in the same system. There is, there is a, an, <clears> like a, Promotion, demotion <laughs> system in which devils advance and, and uh, dem are demoted based on their their elements there. But there are other fiends that exist in that space that aren't part of that system. Rakshasas are a little bit outside of that system. Uh, succubi, incubi, they're a little bit outside of that system. There are other fiendish creatures that actually traverse between both the abyss and the hells based sure. on what their interests are. So like that's that's predominantly the structure of the devils that are. In, in this, that yeah, that are, that are well, that, that are built within the hells as yes. their you know primary domain. Um, Percy, help me understand, since you've read so much about this. Yes. So, whole page. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. So, Oops. if the Raven Queen escorts souls, if you're an absolute terrible shit of a person, and the Raven Queen escorts you over to the other side. We're going to be wandering amongst the souls of the the damned. People go die, go to where we're going. If they're under contract, this is where they go. And, and many who sometimes are under contract go there as well. Oh, really? And you would know this actually. The Raven Queen, as part of the the laws of the cosmos that hold the various planes together, the Raven Queen does indeed escort, uh, you know, good souls to the positive planes, <clears throat> uh, the upper planes, and. Uh, not so good souls to Actually, the Actually, I know that from reading a lot about the Raven Queen. <laughs> I can answer that for you. Yeah. If you don't use a turn <laughs> signal, if you have a vanity plate, you've got to have yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I know they get escorted Steve to the Red other side. It just concert. seems like an odd idea to be walking in a city full of the thrown Matthew. away. <laughs> I'm talking to the air. I'm no one listening. I'm sorry, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, it was the best thing you never heard. <laughs> <laughs> It'll change the game forever. Oh, I miss Scanlan Short Halt so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Does he mm -hmm. listen to you so much more? Nah, he's just my buddy. Aww. Aww. Well, speaking of just our buddy. <laughs> As we move on. Pike is another concern. <clears throat> I would feel far more comfortable making sure that she is definitely on board for this. Really? Well. <clears throat> It's difficult. I know. Phone a friend? What do we do? I don't know. I've been thinking about that. That's the best way to, to... I mean, Hotis, how long has it been, DM? Uh, from since... Since Pike uh, wasted him, his sorry ass. Uh, oh, it's been... 
offhand couple months. Couple months. I mean, I don't think one more day is going to kill us if we want to go get her. You know. But <laughs> that's I <know>. difficult. <laughs> I know. I, I I I do bring it up though that it is it is. <sighs> One of those things that we should talk about. I mean, if the fates allow. Yes. I feel like we would have to find someone to send message. Yeah. As a message spell, maybe in the form of Just a Just blackmail the writers of blind spot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because Ashley is You're in trying. New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We'd have to this is one of those things up. where I, I, th I thought I would just bring it up now before we go running oh, in I there. was trying to guilt him out into playing Pike. But I'm okay that. with that too. No, it's Ashley's character yeah. though. Yeah. I mean, we, we Pike, kind of Terry, what else? <laughs> yeah, just throw all the NPCs all in there, guys. <laughs> it's not the Thordak battle, there's not 87 miniatures on the board. No, but I mean, it could be, we don't know. All right, we'd well, also have to see if like Ashley would be down us like, you know, I thought I would bring it up. Pike once again. I just thought I'd bring it up because it is one of those things that is pretty clutch down there. Not prepared, but we never are. Nope. So we kidnap the president. <laughs> As Definitely. Yeah, I'm so liking I, it more. Hmm. I'm curious it, if Rakshasas aren't necessarily part of the system, and this guy tends to come in and out and just make people's lives a living hell. Oh, hell. They like that. Where Apparently, we're puns yeah. are very yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is hell. Um, then maybe, maybe no one would miss him. In fact, maybe, maybe people down there don't like him. The, you know? the feeling I get reading the the more I read about this place is no one likes anybody down there, and so, so maybe it might if you can figure out a way to be convenient about it, you can disappear anybody. Also, didn't someone tell us that if they uh, get Trashed. They're treated like shit there. He's probably not. Uh, We've trashed as well. Respected. Twice. When we went to the city of Brass, we were owned, right? That was what like let us move around so freely. They, they don't. We don't have to do that here. I, I mean, we thought okay. it was yes. getting us around. But There's nothing that we need to think about like that, so that we. So have, we like, should just go down, act like we're evils, <laughs> like our souls have been claimed by another devil already. Honestly, I mean, I the more use... we just ask, act like us, the more people are going to try and tempt us into things. I could use alter self or try and change into something that's Can't they devil see through that? They'll probably see through it. What is your your? I have a question. Thing? Yes. Because that is an interesting question. Because um, illusions are different than actually physically changing. Right. Yourself. It's transmutation. Because shape shape change is, is considered a transmutation spell. Yeah. Whereas anything, the anything seeming was an illusion. Seeming spell. it was an illusion. Illusions oh. and and you actually become that. You, thing. as far as you know, the pit fiend you encountered is the only creature that saw through an illusion. Okay. Um, however, illusions and transmutation spells, things that actually physically alter your form, that's not considered an illusion. Mm. You're actually changing your physicality. So alter self would not be something that a creature with true sight could see through. Could I alter self to a succubus? Uh, I mean, you could alter yourself to look more to look like, like one. one, maybe, yeah. So if we're just like the bad or kids like a on the block. I mean, you wouldn't be able to give yourself yeah. wings they won't necessarily. Mess with us. But Do you are tieflings a thing Possibly. in City of Dis? Yeah. You don't know. If we act Percy, like a bunch of are tieflings a thing in the city of Dis? I don't know. Uh, actually, would I know? <laughs> it's not on the page. You gave me one page. I know, I know. Well, well, I'm before, I, I gave you a basic structure. I'm yes. filling in the gaps as we go. Sure, thank you. Um, yes, they're, they're, they're quite uh, often found there. That, that is specifically a city that a lot of the, uh, the, oh. the social construct revolves around the cross section between the mortal races and devils. I wonder if they have guides. I wonder if I could be like a tiefling tour guide for you guys. Maybe you could be like um, a conduit, Yay. the person that brings us to. Yeah, like an ambassador, an yeah. escort. Already have us under contract. Yeah. Already have you under contract. Sure. Yeah. You feel up to this level of deception? I say with all seriousness. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> I'm, it's not my strongest suit, I and I, I this. recognize wait, this. Wait, wait, Terry. Do you have anything, like a spell you can make, any kind of trinket, <laughs> that would um, <laughs> help Keyleth be better at lying? Oh, well, uh, I, I do believe that I can enhance somebody's visage. Well, not that, no, I'm talking an actual, like, ability to tell lies better. Well, Something that would up her, maybe, charisma. Does he have enhance ability? He does have Is enhance that what ability. you're talking about? Yeah. He can give me enhance ability, which means I, could, I would get an advantage. 
checks. Right. That's better. You can do that too. Like Which I can do on myself, myself as well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I can I can give myself, you know, I can. But I can do I'll, it as well. And, and Terry a little can better. do it as well. I'll just it's I'll great. talk into a mirror for a little bit, practice some you know some things that tieflings might say. What are things tieflings say? Oh God, I'm a tiefling. What happened? Why has this happened to me? Oh God, I'm a tiefling. What happened? Why is this happening to me? It's perfect. See? It's perfect. See? It's uncanny. It's exactly how I remember Thank Lilith. We are so close <laughs> to being able to semi-retire and take it easy. We cannot <laughs> cock this up. We're going to hell. This. We've no plan. What if we went and were completely honest and were ourselves? And explain that we were here to remove a the shittiest Seriously? devil in the city. Seriously? Well, I mean, I am being serious. Yeah, he does have a. We slight tried point. that. We've tried that. I mean, maybe it'll work. You, you just run willy nilly. That's what we do. Maybe well, we do them a favor. It's not if like a bu- if a bunch of mortals, I'm of the opinion that a bunch of mortals show up in in the city of Dis looking for Rakshasa, I think they're going to be able to put two and Why? two together. Yeah, they're going to know. I honestly don't think anyone's going to have a problem. As with us killing this guy. It's just a matter of, do we want to be full Vox Machina, because I might paint a giant target on us, or maybe have someone as a silent escort? I could try and not speak a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, you could, <laughs> I uh, just, Maybe I could be a mute escort. It's, uh, I mean, I just, I just I have my feel like out. our, uh, <laughs> certainly without scan man, our, our chances of fooling anybody are lower than they've ever been. So maybe having you as a, as a tiefling escort Gives a little credibility to to the the dummies there. Yeah. There's lots of people who are not dummies though, and I kind of feel like we should just quietly negotiate our way through because I don't, I don't think we can bullshit not without scandal. I think that's very fair. Yeah. All right. I agree. Okay. I, I got lost, but I agree. Did you ever get a response from Sam on those potions? Uh, so, I didn't. Yeah. I want to tell. Six regular, three, three medium, medium. Oh. one superstar. I have them. Ah. If you need gold, I've got shop. loads. <laughs> it's, it's literally right there. Oh, I didn't know you wrote it down, what, Grog. Why the fuck? You can't count. Yeah. Here's okay. A little game okay, we gotta pass these notes. potions out. Who wants a superior? I do. Oh, do well, you then. have those potions? Yeah. Terry, you do? Ga- yeah, Terry gave them to me. They were gift wrapped. Did you steal them everything. from me when I wasn't noticing? Because if you I did, did, I would have perceived it. Sorry. Perceived it. Yeah, I would have, because I have really high perceiving. Mm. I thought that's why you wanted it gift wrapped. Yeah. So. I'll, I'll take any. I don't forget the sizes of it. I don't want Venti you dying again. Grande. Take the superior. Ooh, thank you. Is that all right with everyone? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's perfectly okay. fine. I, I will say I did buy them, if I could also. Really, Ooh, Terry? Because have you have one. all those patches. I thought that's the reason you gave them to I'm us. Oh, but they're. they're, they're, they're Measly that's trifles of healing. I could use some things. Terry, how Shit. tough is that armor? The best that money could buy. Right, of but course. is it ceremonial or is it like shit kicker? Do you want it's two functional. regular potions? How is that, Terry? Is that good for you? In addition to your patches? Or would you want one of the greaters that you bought for us? Greater. Wow. All right, sure. Take it back. Um. <laughs> I'm okay. so sad Sam couldn't be here um, <coughs> I'll take a greater as well. All right. I'm sure um, you don't want to give me one, because I usually end up pouring it into one of you. Good so call. Yeah, you totally do. Greater for Grog. That's a good idea. Okay. So that's all that's three greaters taken. I'll take two regular if you Two regulars one. for Percy. <coughs> two regulars <coughs> for Keyleth. Sure. And that's, well, that's... Does anyone that's else want to... Two regulars left. Strapping a turkey okay. baster to a tank. So, so I would so. maybe just keep those. <laughs> Or give them to Grog, maybe, once again? Get up. Okay, so Grog, what? you have two regulars yep. and one greater. Yarr. Just hold one. All right. Mm. All right. Fred, Freddy, what, do we know what languages are likely to be spoken there? Oh, good question. Does that say in your books? Um, Did you just call Percy Freddy? I like it. He keeps calling him that. Infernal. It's his name, isn't it? Frederick. Infernal? They speak infernal. Technically, infernal. it would be a middle name. Yes, do you Frederick. speak infernal? Well, but I do not is speak infernal. Your name is it not? You have thirty-seven of them. Am I allowed to use any of the ones in between the first and the last? I am struggling to find a reason why not, which is somewhat irritating. You know, so. we're, we're years into being friends. What do you prefer? Uh, Percy is just perfectly. What about Dero? No. What about Von? Dero is pretty good. Well, you, yes. What about Musil? No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was just My about God, to agree My God, you found the it, line and I've drawn it. <laughs> <laughs> D-roll's pretty good. 
Man, D rolls. D roll. D roll is actually. Yeah. I'm suddenly D-roll? extremely I jealous like, of Rob. I feel like Rob. I'm not necessarily <laughs> ready to move up to D roll at that point. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's gonna haunt you, my you're just friend. Gonna end, you're just gonna end up wings at some someday. Oh, wings. Say wings. Wings. It's like B roll. Y'all want to stop and get a wang? B roll. Infernal. But they speak common. I'm assuming as well. <laughs> Anybody got that B roll? You don't know. Oh, you don't know. Shit. We don't know anybody that speaks Infernal, do we? Hey, hey, Terry. About Zara. Do you have any spells that help you, you know, be able to speak languages? Like, isn't there like a spell called languages? Not yet. Yeah. Uh, Not at the moment. However, if we have enough time, I'm sure we could go find a a local class that teaches, maybe go to the Lyceum, and we could learn the basics. A few weeks. Uh, Terry, do you want me to punch you in the face? No, I do not. Please, don't do that. (laughs) Which, by the way, uh, I mean, if we if we need any sort of healing, I, uh, and he kind of rummages through his pouch here and says, I can muster a couple of short-term potions if it gets too bad. Why did you take one of the greatest if you can make healing potions on your own? Well, I could only really use one for myself, and I wanted a backup. Right. Hmm. So Infernal is going to be a problem. Hmm. And we're, we're taking Dodie with us. Is that the plan? Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't. Why would we not want to bring him with us? I'm sure there's lots of robots in hell. Does Dodie <laughs> speak Infernal? Dodie doesn't speak. Can he write in Infernal? Hmm. Is he a protocol droid? <laughs> I am well first. This is where it would be useful for Sam to send me his character sheet so I would know what languages he chose. Mm. Oh. Um, but because Sam's not here, no. Thirty does not know or speak infernal. Somewhere an right. aerator is going to kill your creatures. I'm sure. <laughs> Although, <laughs> Sam's stuff is right there, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, no, that's my stuff. Uh, I'm just I'm spreading because oh. he's not here. Understandable. Not really. Um, Man like spreading. <laughs> Can we, Plus, like, we didn't... tear off your sleeve and then you understand inferno? No, no, you uh, don't need to do we that. We could try. I would not recommend it. Oh. I speak no. disco, but not inferno. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not really. You can't, that just, sorry. You can't just off the cuff that. <laughs> you gotta say that. That was <laughs> that was for the Aladdin earlier. I had to do something in retaliation. Um, we're looking to see if anything. I speak abyssal, but that's. I mean, that's if, the other if, way. if I wanted to guys. use Cook shape change yeah. to actually turn myself <clears throat> into a succubus, a succubus or a rakshasa, then I would speak infernal because I do get. That with shape, we didn't really fully decide. <laughs> it never specifies. Uh, I would, s- I would say, yeah. Because you get everything, but you just keep your your Stop. intellect oh, wisdom. Oh, do that. And you get a whole tight. other language. Well, well, make yourself a second. Well, no, but you keep, you keep your intellect. It's, it's not like you learn rain, what the creature man. would know. Oh. So probably. But not. you learn their spells and abilities. You automatically get those. Are the spells in the brain though? I don't know if you get this spell or in the body? It doesn't specify in the spell. It's kind of what you decide. It depends on what kind of spell. Like elemental spells. I really want to see what you look like as a succubus. Mm-hmm. I do too. The, this 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 picture they have in the book is quite exciting. Yeah, yeah she's got a whip. Yeah, she, she does. Can she any average spells. other creature, one without any class levels or the spell casting trait. So you don't get any spells. You turn into something that has spell cra- casting, you don't get their spells. Uh. Um, you can maintain your intellect. But side. I get their abilities. You get their abilities, their physical abilities and things they can uh, do. Oh, but that's different than knowing the language. Yeah. So I don't think you pick up a language. Yeah. You get to suck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Well, we may have to actually hire a guide once we're in there, then. Okay. No, we can't hire anyone. Why yeah. can't we just hire a, a like a tiefling? Did you have any other tieflings in your in 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 your tribe? Maybe, been, but I imagine they would be super rare. You've been gone Do a while. Do we have any? Maybe ask uh, dear old dad. We'll say for the purposes of. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you for the text. Um, <laughs> so I checked on the languages that Dodie knew. Oh, um, that's and great. Infernal is not one of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so there are two tieflings that exist in the society. They're pretty rare when it comes to uh, Ashari, just because a lot of tieflings tend to not feel comfortable in some natural elements sometimes. Sure. Um, one of them is about six years old. And the other uh, predominantly works as a uh, 
have a gardener in the vicinity. So, so it's not a guarantee that they know Infirm necessarily? It's not a guarantee, I don't think. Um, we could go ask. I think we I go. could go ask. I mean, I, I could go and get a few buzzwords, you know. Let's find that six year old. Hello, goodbye, please, thank you. Left, right. No, thank you. Actually, most tieflings do learn Infernal as a language. Can I go? S what time is it? Uh, you guys have been talking late into the evening. It's early. It's like maybe one or two in the. Uh, morning. Morning. Should go in the morning and find out. If not, we'll just go there and hope that someone speaks common. I, I yeah. It's called common for a reason. Yeah, common. I feel like we'll be okay. Well, we can't sit here and wait for him to come back, and we just gotta fucking do it, right? Yeah. Unless I could try and talk to Dad too and see if he has anything that might help with languages, but I don't know. <clears throat> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be all right, right? It's just hell. It's just hell. No big deal. Fine. fine. Okay, so do we have a vague plan? Should we sleep? Sleep, talk sleep. to the gardener. But if we do this, we're done. We can take it easy. Ish. For a bit. So he says. To do what? What is left? The dragons are dead. All that's left is Hotus. What, what is left? The fucking deal that I made with your fucking goddess. Who knows if she'll call us out on it, but... There's that. Well, I'm not going to run right back to the temple, are you? Well, hell no. <laughs> she creeps me out. Thank you. I saw her face. It fucking Yeah, me. I yeah. saw that. Wait, you guys all saw. We all saw that, right? Did right, that happened. really talked. To yeah, this because that feels like a fever dream. That happened. You saw that. Did you know did we saw that? Grog, you it's saw that, right? What? The giant white, the giant white mask. Face. No. Grog. Grog. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like Grog's yeah. getting more. I feel Indignant. like he's like lying more now than yeah. he used to. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do after this, Grog? Uh, say we get back from hell. What's the next step for you? I mean, we're gonna party, that's a given, but, like, are you done with the herd? Oh, I don't know, I, I never look that far ahead. Yeah. yeah, it, like, keeps disappointment low. Hmm, no expectations, I like it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's bad for goals, but yeah. Goals? Like, high five, buddy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any plans to like, do anything that normally would right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Word. Yep. There were words in there. Yeah. I mean, you don't really need to see. I actually understood see. it. Yeah. How you don't need to that? see, like, all the way to the horizon, right? You just got to see, like, right in front of your own little feet. Yeah. And you'll get there. You remember that time a sword uh, killed you? <laughs> yep. You do, <gasps> yeah. Yep. Doesn't always work out. Sometimes it gets cocked up, yeah? Not yet. Not yet. No. He's got a point. He's got a point. <laughs> this is true. Uh, I mean, wants, we're all here. Yeah. Has anyone yeah. stopped to wonder why we're all still alive? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, like by all likelihood, we shouldn't be. <laughs> ah, that's fun. That's yeah. the whole yeah. series of things from Good Pat. times. Good times. What about you, Vex? What are you doing after we take a. Take a retirement break. Oh wow, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Percy. <coughs> <laughs> Good one, Grog. Hey. I mean, yeah, but. Um, that would, you know. I mean, we knew that. I'm gonna, do, gonna hopefully build up. You do a have. Nice small house. A small house, if you're feeling. Has it been built? No, well, no, no, no. It needs to it be. It needs to be. It's this uh, this land. It will be. Yeah. It will be. be. It's <laughs> gonna be lovely. It will be lovely. <laughs> You're gonna be like Mr. Bates on Downton Abbey afterwards. Mm. <clears throat> I know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Considering your your idea of small, it was very nice before well, it caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the sweetest before we all die. This oh. is, and 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 
the Grey Hunt itself is eventually going to be popping up. So that what is that the Grey is. Hunt, Percy? You yeah. keep saying what Bust the Grey Hunt is. What is it? What's your plans, Kiki? <laughs> Percy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it's because it's it nothing. I feel like the Grey Hunt is something really terrible. It's and not, you just um, haven't it's told not terrible. Bust it's not terrible. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, no, no, no. I don't, well, secrets. I mean, there's, there's, there's some boring bits of it, obviously. Well, tell us the juicy bits of it. Yeah. Is it? Is it like paying your taxes, where it's not a real thing, but you kind of have to do it because it's on paper? Do I get a jolly hat you to? out of it? Who, where does she learn this, Beautiful this stuff? Beautiful John Trump. I, never... I learned it from you, oh my Percy. God. <laughs> 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 I learned it from you. <laughs> No oh, guilt. Part wow. of the part of the gray part of the gray hunt, and this happens not every season, but often on Winter's Crest festivals. Yeah. And again, it is an official title and does actually carry with it some responsibilities beyond that. But they're very, very you. They'll be fine. Um, is and I can't give too much of it away because part of the ritual is also. Oh my God! Tell us, inform, yeah. tell us something. You are going to have to go into the woods and. Uh, He's making Meet something. No, I'm really Meet not. Meet something? You go into the woods, there are creatures that live in the woods that have been affected by the land, that have gained some... <sighs> You're gonna shroom your tits off. <laughs> Do I get really high? Is yeah. this the whole point of the Great Whitestone, hunt? there are things within the Earth of Whitestone that have certain power and certain energies, and they have been seeped into the plants and the, and the stones and the animals themselves, and... Uh, your Do I have to find the highest animal in the woods? More or less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to regret wait, that I asked. What's wait. the punchline? Yeah. The punchline yes, is you're going kill? to go and you're going to actually have to bring back a kill, and it will be a very specific kill that is uh, that is asked for. Oh wow! Okay. Um, but part of that then gives you a practically divine right to manage and look after the the uh, creatures of the woods and our mm. hunting and what is reasonable to be killed and otherwise. I think I'm covering most of this. How do you mean divine? Yeah. Like she can see things? If she kills the radioactive beast, does that mean she gets a radioactive no, power? Divine Radio more Radio. in the sense of, of, of what reasonable Radio. people do to tell commoners that we're allowed to talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Atari. It's less fun. exciting. Do I go alone or do I get help? You do go alone. No, you do not get help. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's so I'm cool. So transparent sometimes. <laughs> Sounds fun. I think you're going to do very well. Oh, you'll be fine. I look forward to it. I've She's killed tree beasts and dragons. She's Everything fine. under the sun. Yeah. Tree beasts or three beasts? Look, my, my light up 20 just Both. lit up for no reason as we were talking about it. It's I think a sign. It very well. <laughs> <sighs> It'll be a lovely winter's crest. We haven't had a, a master or mistress of the Grey Hunt in many, many, many years. So what are you going to do when we take a break, Percy? I still haven't answered the question. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think I'm going home. I, I say I think. I'm going home. Uh, there will be work to do there. Don't look at me. And, uh, <laughs> I have plans for my city. I have plans for the people. I want to make it great again. I want to make it shining, beautiful, comfortable for everyone. You know, I'm, I might need your help. I have a few ideas for the Ashari tribes as well. I think that that would be an excellent thing for our two people to communicate very regularly. I think they need to. I think they must. Can you help me build some sort of maybe like alarm system? That sounds very expensive. I'm not sure that that's possible. <laughs> yes, of course I can help you. Okay. With something like that. <laughs> but with taxpayers' money, it'll also be, something else you taught me. It'll be a me. string on a bell. You're 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 learning yeah. so well. Just, just two cups on can a string. Can we get to bed? We, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all sleeping in this hut, or do we have separate huts? We're all sleeping in this hut, aren't we? Welcome to your yurt. Is it all water oh. outside still? Like a little bit of water on the ground? No, we're not it's there wind. anymore. <laughs> it's windy. It's windy. We're up on a Very cliff. drunk at this so point. Drunk. <laughs> There's so much water as <laughs> hell. <laughs> you know, you, you guys do have you have a separate places to stay. Oh. People people clear out and cluster. You have your own uh, locations. It's, Why does it's it smell a, like mayo? Hmm. Mm. That's good. It is mayo! <laughs> Take that! He's just been drinking mayo. <laughs> oh, it's a strong that is vile! <laughs> <laughs> that you you probably not That's kept so well. That's so gross. Okay, all right. Good night, lovely people. You guys rest for the evening. The morning comes 
with your mayo hangover. Yeah. <laughs> it's so pure, it never leaves the hangover. <laughs> Definitely cast some mustard. Um, this morning comes around, you all come to consciousness. The, uh, the village of Zephyr has already come to life. You can see the townspeople are up and about. They're handling their business. The gardens are being tended to. Uh, you can see the uh, wind riders are already out, uh, leaping from mountain peak to mountain peak, doing their perimeters in the vicinity. Uh, the children are up and being led to their uh, various outdoor classes. Um, the city's alive, and you guys, are, your business is your own. I get information on that gardener and where to find him. Or them. He's or in a she library. Or he, or mm. I right. don't know who they are. It's easy enough to find, in this city in particular, a tiefling sticks out like a sore thumb. You see a woman probably in her, it's hard to tell with a tiefling, uh, demon don't crack, um, but she's a little older. She's in her, she's in her 40s, probably. Uh, dark purple skin, um, the horns kind of curl backward and come to a, almost a singular point behind, oh, cool. and the uh, dark hair kind of shifts in streaks of gray but she's in the middle of, looks to be uh, gloves on in the process of uh, checking in and planting more seeds. And Do I know you, her name? Did I get a name? Uh, no. Yeah, this is Whitney. Whitney. Whitney? Yeah. I've tagged along, by the way. Okay. Uh, not her given name, but the name she chose when she joined the Zephra. Sure. Okay. Uh, you've interfaced here and there, but nothing too, I mean, you were very young and you were still kind of you know, last year in the village, we're being pushed towards this place of greatness, so a lot of people didn't interact with you directly too much. Sure. But you've seen her around. When we were like kitties? Oh mm -hmm. no, but mm -hmm. she's, she, she was could be forever. Older. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> as you approach, she kind of stops and kind of wipes the dust from her hands and turns. Ah, uh, my, my, my lady Keelit, I'm sorry. And she kind of stands up and does like a. Don't well, I mean, do the, uh, the the bowing thing. Is I've always been uncomfortable with it. Don't. I I, I didn't really know. No, what, it's what to no. Do. Don't. It's fine. No, you're fine. You're great. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. You as well. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um. I, I I was just wondering if I could ask, actually just ask you a few questions on behalf of everybody. C certainly. What can I do to help? Um. Well, uh, okay. I, I don't know if this is a sensitive subject or not. I know you've kind of been away from this for a little bit, but it seems me and my team are going to the Nine Hells, to the city of Dis. And yeah, no, I know. I we all had the same reaction. <laughs> um, I just I didn't know if you could actually help me with any infernal language or any knowledge that might help, or if you still know the language? I've not had to use it in a very long time. I've, I, I don't know much about what you're talking about. I've, I've lived in the, here in Bissar my whole life. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know what else I can offer. As far as, I mean, I, I, can, I can read a little Infernal, and I can, I can understand it if I hear it. I haven't, Really had to speak it in a while. What, what do you what, what do you need? Well, we were thinking of going in under disguise as potentially a, a tiefling, since they are more common there. All right. So I didn't know if you could share any basics of your language. Um. What, what, what do you want to know? Oh, um, well, you know. Hello. <laughs> goodbye. Thanks. Sorry. Left. Oh, right. All right. Um. And she kind of takes a minute and has to scratch her head. You can see she's like. It's been a long time since she's ever had to exercise her speaking Do you want to do this over breakfast? I can t we'd be more than happy I'm, to buy I'm, you I'm breakfast. I'm all right, I'm all right. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of my work here. Um, okay, for, for a greeting, I mean, as much as there is one, uh, it's it's a pretty ab abrupt, uh, and the, you, if you weren't keeping tabs on this, it's, it's, it's pronounced Kuthak. 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 I'm going to say that over and over again now. Kuthok. Yeah, it does. It sounds like Klingon. Kuthok. 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 Okay. Cool. Emphasis on thok. <laughs> Kuthok. You're right. Nice. 
Uh, goodbye is uh, very similar. Kuthrek. Um, but is usually said in a very uh, forceful manner. Uh, goodbye is outside of, uh, it's, it's usually a very stern separation. Sure. Um, <coughs> what else did you? Excuse me, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm Lady Keelet's friend, and um, <laughs> aren't I though? No, sorry, I, I just I saw the hesitation and it was cute, keep going. All right. Um, we don't. Yeah. You, you you grew up here, so I don't know if this means anything to you. But we are searching for a rakshasa. Do you know what that is? I'm afraid I do not. No. Look, it's all right. I understand. I many people just assume because of the way I look that I know a lot about. Devils no, and no, demons. no, no. I. But I really don't. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, we're, just, we're kind of grasping at straws, so I hope we didn't offend. No, no offense taken. Just, I wish I could be more out. I'm sorry. That's it. Any other phrases? Mm. No. I mean, well, maybe like a yes and a no. And then we'll totally leave you to your work, because I, I feel like I've totally interrupted like your flow, and I'm so sorry. I thought, so it's okay. Yeah. You, you're allowed to. You're the voice of the Tempest, mm. for goodness sake. <laughs> um, Doesn't excuse me from human decency. <laughs> fair enough. Um, yes, yes, or uh, an acknowledgement uh, is more of a yay. Yay. Uh, yay. Yay. Is Episode that right? Episode 91, where we force Matt to make up an entire language on yeah. the spot. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. This is, this is so yeah. wonderfully yeah. Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, and no. <laughs> 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 wait, wait for it. Uh, <laughs> sure, Ermagerd. that's it now, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Damn it, Leo! No, 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 I'm right No, he's not. No, no, come on, come on, really? No, he is not. Ermagerd. Oh my god. I hate you. That's canon. This is fair. Ermagerd. Thanks a lot, Liam. You and she of the so called <laughs> Tempest. Can You're both. welcome. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, ask her any questions, but she's a fucking felon on the run from the hells. You just going to let her go she away? She's not, not a felon on, on the run. run. I've says, known her since I was a child. No, you're we're not cool, here, so blind. don't worry. We're not having a conversation. It's fine. If you were here, I wouldn't listen to you either. She's a peaceful fucking gardener for the past 20 years. For the past 20 years. Speaking of which, do you know what's the word for peace? Is there a word for peace? Do you know? Not that I know of. All right. Hmm. Shit. This so nine hells. Not is there a people. word for thank you? Do they thank people there? Or do it's they similar to thanks? goodbye? Could be similar to goodbye. Is it more or less forceful? About the same. Mm. It can mean both. Okay. It can be both. <laughs> it's like an <laughs> it's inflection it, thing. It, well, it's it's it, it's more like a. Uh, uh, Aloha could be hello or goodbye. Right. You know. right. I, oh. I feel like we've hassled this one. Yeah, you know, I feel bad. How to say, don't um, fuck with me. It's a Whitney. Bit of a complicated <laughs> phrase for someone who barely knows Thank how to say hi and bye. Thank you so much for woman us not here. interrupting Armager. your morning. Is there anything you would like for me in return? Just to leave me to my gardening, if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we can be annoying yeah. sometimes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, He's got more people to bury. Great to see you. It's great to see you again. <laughs> you as well. Man, so good to be home. Okay, let's go. Back. <laughs> as you see, start walking away, that kind of awkward quiet you hear say over the over, over your shoulder. Good luck. Thanks. I don't look back out of embarrassment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um Voice of the Tempest, motherfuckers! <laughs> First act of being king. Kuthrek. I don't know if I said right. Oh it's Kuthrek. 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 I just said tangerine. Oh. It's yeah. Kuthrek. Kuthrek. Yai and Ermagerd. 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 What is it? Ermagerd. 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 Mordor. Yeah, you gotta roll. It's around it, yeah. It's Mordor. Mordor. Oh. 
Yeah. We've all suffered through those We've pronunciations. Uh, Inside baseball. Make it yeah, the yeah. last word of the four <laughs> sentence line. Mordor. Yeah. Mordor. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah. Voice, voice acting, lamenting. Um, <laughs> so. Metamucil. Hmm. Open your portal. To That's a sixth level okay. spell. So, what do you guys want to do? Regular. Uh, I think it's. Are we going to just do this? How did it go? Did you learn everything? You know, it went um, about as well as one could expect. Yeah, I expected it to go pretty so fucking good. well. Yeah, you, did you learn <laughs> all of the language? <laughs> uh huh. I totally learned all the language in, in one 15 minute setting of annoying. Uh, oh. a, a well, poor tell us what gardener. you learned so okay. that we can speak it too. Hello. No. Hello. Kuthak. 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 Got it. Thuck. Yeah. Em emphasis on thuck. Got it. Yeah. Uh huh. Goodbye. It's Cusack. <coughs> Close. Close. Kuthrek. Kuthrek. That's mm -hmm. what he said. Check. Uber. Mm hmm. Yes. Yai. 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 It's like go only like kind of weird. Yai. 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 And then. So excited for this. I'm not. Hate you. No. Is Ermagerd. 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 Got it. It's it's impressive that no is the most the complicated so one. How, how, I know. How do, you, how do you say? Do you speak common? She oh really my God. I think probably do you speak common. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all you got. It's remarkable. She, you know, she, <laughs> she didn't remember a whole lot. She's been living amongst us for quite a while. In fact, she never lived in the Nine Hells because apparently that was maybe vaguely offensive. Mm. Well, Did you believe yeah. her? She kills at night. She's... N Yes, I've I've you, I've known her What's for her a while. <laughs> What's her mother's name? <laughs> what? What's her mother's no, name? No, no, I'm calling that one. <laughs> she's coming with us. Well, she's, she's a part of the Ashari. Leave us so. alone. Did you learn how to say leave us alone? She wasn't very good on on, oh on phrasing. That really. works. It was just words. Just words. Yes. Words. All right. Yeah, I, I will say yes, no, broken. please, and thank you can get you through an enormous am amount of transactions. Well, with we don't have people. please and thank you because apparently it's the nine fucking hells. Yeah. Nobody says please and thank yeah, you. Yeah, they're not. So really yes and no gets so you through not. If a horrible devil is bearing down on you to kill you, you just say. Like the equivalent of the Shia LaBeouf. No, 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 no,
Are we going? Are we ready? I, mean, I was kind of joking, but sure, let's go. Uh, ooh. All right, what is this? What is this creepy? Who We gotta, who this? We gotta, we gotta hold hands. Are you above and then... me or below me? I'm, I'm above you. All right, and then. Good job. <laughs> Banff, city of dis. <laughs> as you all, as you all hold hands and you complete the ritual, the incantations leaving oh, your God. lips, your vision suddenly grows dark as the magics of the spell pluck you from your home plane and thrust you into the space between. Oh God. Before you, a glow begins as you rocket towards an unexpected and incredible sight. An endless, permeable tapestry, a tangled lattice of burning divine fire appears before you, writhing and growing as you shoot towards it with incredible speed. You instinctively wince and curl the promise of impact, triggering your need to defend yourself, the dread as you, the air begins to heat around you. Then you impact and pass through harmlessly, the heat fading. You glance over your shoulder to see it gone. You just pass through the divine gate. The divine gate. You glance over your shoulder to see it vanish, but then another flash of red magical power consumes your vision as your feet suddenly find hard ground. As the rush of powerful energy subside, the swirl of color and sudden thrust of movement coming to an abrupt halt, you find yourself standing within an extremely dark alleyway of some kind framed by the exterior of dark stone buildings, climbing up above you for many, many stories. The cracked, thick cobblestones that mark the floor are littered with filth, slivers of cracked skulls and bones, as well as discarded refuse of some indeterminate origin. The air here is extremely hot. The walls and floors themselves around you, seemingly the source. As you look, you glance out past both sides of this alleyway you've somehow arrived in, and the air distorts with intense heat as you smoke rises from the streets themselves around you, the occasional ash or ember drifting through the air in front. Now, the dense city that surrounds you is incredibly massive. The walls of the structures that clutter the immense black metropolis around you glow at the edges like heated glass. As you kind of peek past and look further out, you can see the city is a broken maze of metal ramparts built into miles of steep hillsides and shadowed towers framing an endless labyrinth of twisting alleyways. Now within these streets, your eyes dart around to see dozens of molten, slithering masses of flesh just shifting past the mouth of the alleyway, roiling and stepping with a sick slapping sound their faces twisted into a grotesque look of ever-retching horror, the sound escaping like a <laughs> winced with this underlying screech and scream. You see behind them cracking lashes over these masses of flesh, two large humanoid devils with spine-like protrusions that come jutting out of the sides of ash-white skin, pulled tight against a massive skeletal form. The backs of their bodies forming these gargantuan scorpion-like tails that dangle looming dangerously in front of them. As they step forward, whoop, psh, whoop, psh, two more lashes go. You see these fleshy masses <laughs> begin to clutter up again and move further past the exit to the alley as these bone devil-like creatures slowly crawl past. One of them kind of stops for a second. <gasps> and continues walking as you all hold your breath. A sudden horrid stench of decay fills the air as they pass. They hear them crackling in the distance as they shove along their tortured charges. As you kind of glance up past that, you see the sky now, dozens of winged shadows seemingly glide through the air across a greenish, cloudy, barely lit sky that flashes with far distant cracks of lightning, occasionally brightening darker shapes, larger looming in the distance. But one that draws your eye like a terrible dream, unable to look away upon noticing it. 
is an impossibly colossal tower of black iron and lead, seemingly stretching for hundreds of miles into the sky before vanishing into the dark clouded expanse above you. You blink and turn around to look at the other side of the horizon, but there stands the exact same tower. You shift around, and no matter your view of that horrid horizon, there stands the Iron Tower, the throne of the Archdevil Dispater, standing ever vigilant over his Iron City of Dis. And that's where we're gonna take a break. Uh, yeah. Gonna have to pee so bad. Wait, I have a question, I have a question. We, we did a hero piece last night, right? Nope. Nope, no, we didn't. So I, I thought know, we said nobody. we were gonna do it. I thought we said we were gonna do you it. You gotta say no. you're gonna do it. Nobody said it. Um, didn't we say we were gonna do it? We might have said it last game. I don't remember it in this game. We did not say it. Well, I thought we said it in the last yeah, game. Yeah. Well, but you have to then follow through. Shit and say, balls, yeah, mother bitch, fuck no, balls. That's okay, that's okay. We're, uh, we're gonna find an end. So we're gonna take a bitch. break here, guys, okay. real fast. Uh, for the chat room, we do have, we're giving away we off this break, this really awesome wood. Oh, that's some of my favorite oh, wood yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. It is the black and white is that the zebra wood? dice tray. It's fantastic. Um, the word to use in the Twitch chat, so if you're, if you're an alpha, move over to Twitch chat to make sure that you put this in there to be part of this giveaway. But the oh word of the night is Doty, D O T Y. It should be Ermigerd, but whatever. Well, um, we've already established it. <laughs> next episode. Next episode. Too bad. So, sorry. Um, so we're back here in a few minutes, and we'll pick up where we left off. Holy shit! Some of our roommates are basically evil. Could you please? <laughs> Pumpkin spice lattes. Oh. Once again, just coffee. That's all I want. <gasps> But around here, we handle our issues reasonably, like adults. You mean? Puzzle battle.
is Tabletop Day. Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sundry. All around the world, we'll get people to play and play and play and play and play. We're celebrating game designers and the players, cards and dice and role playing slayers, teams or co op, whatever your flavor. Scream and shout, but respect your neighbors. So let's join forces all for one. Guys, okay. April 29th is tabletop day.
Welcome back. So, uh, first, before it begins, our winner of the chat room is going to win the awesome uh, dice box from Wormwood is uh, Thigen. T H A I G N. Thigen. So, congratulations. Thigen! Uh, we'll get your information and get that sent to you. Well done. Fight! The box is really sweet, like we just saw. It. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, so as you guys have just taken in as much of the scenery as you can here within this some place in an alley in the center of the city of Dis, where no matter where you look, the creepy distant tower of iron seems to follow your vision no matter where on the horizon you glance, ever watching, ever present. That's weird. What do you want to do? Send up a flare. We, while we can Let's do Let's put that. our hoods and cloaks on. Weren't you going to make yourself look like a tiefling? I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that right now. Well, Is anyone watching? We're all can watching. I see if anybody's watching Don't. right now? There's an omnipresent iron tower that's watching. Is Beyond there an that, I mean iron tower? It's it's more the omnipresent part that was really the point of that. But yes, it's I thought you said an eye on mm. a tower, and I was like, that's a, that's, that's a different tower. That's, that's copyrighted. I'm well aware. Percy's <laughs> got a good point. We might want to try and get out of uh, get out of the indoors. street. Get indoors. Yeah. Well, can I perceive a um, like Here anywhere that ears. looks like a. Like somewhere where travelers would stay? Make a perception check. Uh -oh, I'll do the same. Die. 30. That looks better than me. 24. Okay. As you kind of come up to the edge and lean against the wall, kind of looking over to the side, <clears throat> first, uh, a moment passes. And as your shoulder hits the wall, you smell something burning, and as you glance back, suddenly your shoulder, you can see the heat of the actual wall with just a brief contact to your body has begun to burn what? and singe the outside of your cloak. Oh, crap. Patch your hair, patch your hair, patch your hair. Patch your hair. Wait, from You're just peeking later. around the corner? From just leaning, leaning and barely against touching the wall. The wall. Okay. It's too soft. safety tip. <laughs> yeah, as, and you immediately kind of notice that the, the the floor, the bottom, like elements of your shoes are kind of melting a little bit on the oh bottom of your steps. Oh um, Good thing rubber the, doesn't exist here. The city itself is a, is just this emanating source of perpetual heat. Um, you're already sweating in the presence here, and as you kind of glance around the corner and look, these buildings that rise up, you can see the, the architecture is hooked at the corners. The uh, monolithic kind of deep reds and blacks and grays that everything's built from. Nothing belies an exterior that would seem to be welcoming to a traveling pack of people. At no. least not from your current standpoint. And remind us, it's it's dim or, or it's not super bright here, is it? No, it's, it's, it's not super dark either. It's, imagine a very, 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 very cloudy day mm. around sunset. Well. That's dimish. I don't know what to do other than to... Does it look like there's anybody around us that can see us? Anybody watching? Um, are, you, are you trying to be stealthy? I mean, I'm glancing subtly, trying to look like a badass, but also stealthy. Make a stealth check. Eighteen. Okay. Um, as you kind of glance out, to the side, you watch as two uh, what look to be humanoid, normal-sized uh, humans, but deep red skin, black hair, kind of horns curled at the front of the uh, forehead, and these folded leathery wings at their sides begin stepping off uh, from uh, one of the nearby roads. It seems to go further into the city. And they walk past, and one just kind of glances over and sees you. And they both just keep walking, seemingly not affected or alerted by your presence. Okay. Um, looking about kind of each side of the road as you go, there is a lot of movement through these streets. There are a lot of creatures, all sorts of weird shapes. You see a, a lot of that weird fleshy mass that you saw stepping forward. There's uh, clusters of them all over. Many of them seem to be herded or pushed. Some seem to be uh, almost chained together in places and being dragged around. Is it like that thing that we ran into in, was it Craghammer? Where, where were we where that 
thing was like a mash of bones and stuff. Oh, in the field of bones. Shards. Oh, right, Is right. Is it like that? No, no. it. Um, imagine a, v a very, very rotund person that is perpetually melting out of clay and. Let me just show you a picture. Is it actually. like a fondue pot of nine people in one? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a single face. Okay. Um, it's like a fondue party. shit sack, yeah? Kind of. But. Pizza the Hut. Yeah. That right there. Oh, it's like, Ooh. ew, you can't yeah. even see legs. It's just these, like. Totally like like, like a that. liquefied person that is just a somewhat shifting, burbling forth, uh, you know, fleshy sack that occasionally you can see like the mouth and what looks almost like a face that is ever screaming and. Uh, that seems awful. Calcium. Seems yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see it again. Oh, you already closed it. Yeah, I can bring it back up again. If you like. <laughs> <laughs> right next to that beautiful picture of a. Oh yeah, we've well, already seen the other creatures before. Oh and my an god! But that's that's a fun one there. That is so mm. creepy. Mm. Okay. Um, I bet they're being herded around. You see, um, smaller creatures. You see imps, which you've encountered before. Tiny winged, leathery, uh, humanoid creatures that kind of flutter around and seem to be more keeping a peripheral view. Uh, an overhead view of, of the goings on of each one of these clusters of, of, of entities being pulled to the city. You see a handful kind of attending each of these that move along, these humanoid uh, devils that have long pole arms and from their uh, dark, almost like bluish purple skin, what looks to be almost like a series of jagged pointed tendrils that uh, jut from the bottom of their chin and almost like writhe and curl as they push forward kind of occasionally shoving uh, their weapon into the side of these things and kind of just getting them back on track as they wander off. Do um, I see anything that looks like normal Exandrians? People that are just like at the very At this moment, no. And you get the sense that at least they're not super common. <laughs> Almost everyone that's currently walking through the street in this particular intersection seems to be of some sort of devilish heritage. Right. I kind of go back to a group and say, well, I was spotted for sure. Nobody seemed to pay me very much mind, but there's nobody here that looks like us. I don't know if we happen to pop into a particular area of the city that is um, inhabited mostly by devils, but um, that's where we are. Do we know what layer we're in? What layer of uh, this would layer be, of uh, well, it's like the this third, would be fourth, second. Second. This, is, this, this is two. Is Second. Mm -hmm. Oh, we Number gotta two. find the uh, what level this? The open market, right? <laughs> the open yes. market. The market. Yep. Why? Oh, right. What? If we find Why? the market, we'll find an inn. Find an inn, we'll find a place to Please drink don't and make get a me room. Be the one that remembered all this shit about this. I mean, I am the grand poobah, the doik of all this and that. So. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, this you is would in know. your title. Y'all motherfuckers is coming, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no, I can already I see that I feel like we should put our hoods up and just generally act like we belong here. Me, just walk with purpose. Do you think if I do That's an altered similar. self here that people will notice? Can you do it quickly? Yes. I mean, yeah, I can do yeah, it at will. We're in, in an alleyway. Yeah, just all right, shield. Let's all make, 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 the, make, make the changing circle. Yeah, just shield me like we're just changing, stand we're like the beach. Just just changing at the beach. Stand. In front of Helis. Look casual. Don't so, touch the wall, you'll burn. Which actually you do immediately take uh, four points of fire damage oh. as you do so. Oh. oh, buddy. Put some mayonnaise on it, you'll feel better. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, so are you changing your appearance? Yeah, I'm like kind of. Um, can you imagine how sour Grog must smell all the, the whole time? time? He just has mayonnaise Curdle on him. Oh. Curdled dairy at uh, all times. Or how much I love it. <laughs> Sam um, said he can cast Alter Self on himself plus three others. Yes, I'm working on that. Okay. Oh, he can do it on others? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But people who can actually cast the spell, they can cast on the people. But you, as an Druid ability, you can only do it on yourself. Ah, uh, copy. Cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look like a kind of a vague cross between Whitney and Zara. Okay. And as you do that, uh, Terry immediately goes, "Oh, great idea!" 
and he turns himself into, uh, he you know, kind of pulls out a small object and clicks it for a second as it does, his form shifts into an almost identical looking. Uh, Female? <laughs> no, a male. Oh. Uh, tiefling. Uh, and then goes, Who else? Who else? Who else would like my blessing? Uh, you know? Hold off on that. I'm not saying it's not a good idea, but maybe we should workshop it. What? I want to be. I want to be one. I knew you would. Oh. And he comes forward and pulls another one out, and psh, as he kind of breaks the small capsule in your direction, uh, this burst of arcane energy hits you, and all of a sudden your form shifts into an almost identical-looking tiefling, no. same color. Wait, no, 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 switch Stop it up. Terry, switch it up. I, Terry. Okay. No, ah. switch. And he, like, How many more turns? Tries to finagle with it for the last Two. second as the spell just about takes hold. Your shade goes slightly more, and he goes like, ah, uh, blue. And you're a little more blue. Okay, well, it's with the tail end. Kind of like the, uh, no, no, hang on, hang on. We, still, we don't want to be. No, I'm talking it out. You can do that to how many more of us? Two more. Uh, two more. Oh. Two more. <laughs> two more. Yeah. Kidding. He knew. <laughs> I'll take one. Why not? I mean. Yeah, yeah Grog can look like Grog. I feel like a handful of tieflings in Grog is better than us as we are. I would agree. Yeah. Okay. He goes ahead and takes but one. But make him more. Uh, red. Hang on, hang on. Pink. How how long does Alter Self last when it's just a spell? Because if we were gonna try and eat, eat some food and take a, sh a break, then maybe we should do that first. Are we still doing that? Or are we just going head on into this? Well, we I feel like our plans are already dissolving. No, 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 no. We need to have. We need to, have a, we need to get a. Yeah. We need to eat. Yeah, we're in a back okay. alley. Okay. We gotta walk hang through on. this town. I might. I can find it too, Matt. I'm looking it up. Hold on. Uh, alter self lasts for one hour. Correct. Concentration, okay. though, right? Well, that a concentration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, if uh, we go into fight, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. I'll so, take gray. Uh, well, by all means. And he hands you the small capsule. Which, it's almost like giving you a chance the coins. Yeah. You're actually casting the spells on yourself. Oh. So you are concentrating on the spell. Oh. Okay. Oh. So I guess we will get through the city and eat a hero, hero's feast when we get to our destination? Yes. Yeah. And sure. then okay. we'll just all do self again. So I can do this on my own then? Uh, Yeah, by all means. Fuck it, all white. White? You become an, al an albino. Uh, mm. Tiefling of your own. Yeah. Oh. Just gonna totally blend in. Oh. Very, very job, unique. Bro. Do you He's... think everybody here dresses like the Raven Queen's butler? I mean, you have encountered an albino tiefling before. We have. Have we? Yeah, smarty pants. Mm. Lilith. Lilith oh, was an albino. Lilith. Lilith. Oh, that's why she was so like pale. She was so cute. Pale. You can say you're mm. sorry. I'm not. You're not. No. You should be. I'm not. Yeah. You're wrong, though. Right, let's find let's ourselves find. a marketplace in an inn. In a, in a rakshasa. Let's go. I am going to step out into Act the Act like you belong here. Act tough and with cool. With pomp and circumstance and purpose. I oh, joined right. Percy. Please yes. don't write things down while I write while I do oh, that. No. <laughs> it's not nice. Act like you belong. Why, whatever do you mean? People yeah. will buy it. We just walk looking straight ahead. Don't look around too much. Yep, yep. All right. 10% what you say, 90% how you say. I act like me. I think I'm going to be fine. I act like Percy. He's also going to be fine. Yes. All right, so as you guys step out into the main road, and you can see that the, the cracked stones that make up the walkway here, um, like even just walking through here, though you feel confident in, in the, you know, your placement, the presence here, you're still getting used to, and there's something about, it's about the air, or you feel a little, just a little dizzy as you're still adjusting to the heat, to the placement, to the strange, ever so faintly non-Euclidean structure to the landscape around you, and it, it's, it's forcing you to consciously write your posture and pay more attention to your surroundings than you normally would. There's just something about the presence here that's, that's unwelcoming. Um, as you look and you can see there are a number of other streets that head uh, in any direction. Um, it's hard to tell which way is further into the city and which one's further out. It's so vast. You've never, even the city of Brass or Ankarel in their size, none of them seem to really scrape the surface of the sheer immensity of the city of Dis by comparison. This should be easy. 
I wouldn't know from reading anything. I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have a vague idea where to go. I, I have a theory at the moment, but it's pretty light. Uh, from what you read, it was mostly about the the structure of the society. There was no like well, well written, you know, cartographer's guide to, to, to this. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, well, I say we head to the tower. The tower is in every, every direction. direction. So whichever direction it is, that's the way we'll head. So wow. So the, that's true. That way. It's and and, and also that way. Yes. Some people I feel like ways. I feel like if I was going to j- build a giant <laughs> tower that couldn't be ignored, I would have that be the center of anything every, anyway. So well, at any rate, it may not even matter. Take a stroll and see All what right, the lay of the land is. All right, head towards the tower. As we start taking a stroll, can I do a nature check to see if I can spot any native beasts, insects, etc.? Uh, native animals, birds, making nature critters. Checks. Yeah, the usual. Sure. There's more perception, actually. Let's be perception. This is trying to pick up the details in the scenery. Perception check? Nature to understand if you knew what they were. That's a shithole roll. 14. Mm. 14. Total. Uh, yeah, that was pretty You yeah. do occasionally catch what looks to be some element of small flying, uh, buzzing pests, but they're different than what you're used to. They're, the brief glances you get of one that comes nearby, it seems to have eight sets of wings and some horde-looking pincers in the front and looks just like a nasty denizen of the scenery. And immediately you're like, (laughs) I lean over to Vex and I say, or in an effort to blend in, Mm. should we just like kill a random person? Uh, I feel like only if it's called for, yeah? I just thought of it, so I figured, does that mean it's like called for? Or I that probably, what you do here? no, I probably not just yet. I mean, I might really like it. I here. know, they could, but they also mm. thrive on order. And oh. I feel like that's a little out of order. Right, man, I'm glad I asked you. Yeah, me too. Okay. Keep <coughs> doing that. Would I? Asking you? Yeah. <clears throat> Why is our life so much like the vaudeville? <laughs> You do like the theater. <laughs> That's true. What Don't go to the do you think a pass without a trace spell? I official here? I think yeah, why but it's concentration. Tr- why tr- why try to be complicated? <laughs> Let's just own this. Let's own it and take a walk. First no of fear. All, strut. Maybe we'll strut. Drop. <gasps> Maybe we can just kind of drop a little bit of dust of trace in his behind us, though. So we'd like you yeah. know. No? No, let's not, let's not make a scene. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look for signs to see if there's, I'm gonna try and see if I can, I can look for signs of the sorts of people who are walking around, if, if, if there seems to be a flow of traffic, if people seem to be going in a direction, coming from a direction. Okay. Getting Trinket. a sense of the city. While we're heading towards the tower? Uh, while heading towards the tower to make sure that I am doing, I am uh, trying to get a lay of the land so that maybe I can see if we should veer off in the direction. Okay. And I'm also looking for humans, or someone who might speak common. And are there stores, are there businesses, are these all nondescript buildings, or does it all just look like the same shit, or is it look They're like varying, but there's nothing here that Looks like a welcoming shop front. Right. Like you, the the structures are varied, but uh, any of the signs or any of the the scrollings that you see chiseled into the stonework and, and metal. So it's like is a not hellish a language financial would... district. There's just mm. nothing. Loosely, there. yeah, yeah. It's it it's looks kind of it looks thinking. like, like hell. Detroit on Halloween. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's it's. Purge. <laughs> it, it's, Love you, Detroit. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's been a, a while. Yeah, man. <laughs> Devil's Night's great. Long while since it's Hell. So, uh, so yeah, you, you follow, and as, as Dodie's kind of <laughs> right. behind uh, Terry, oh, who's guy. kind of staying oh. as close to the middle of all of you guys and kind of shielding himself between your various bodies, um, you continue to follow Percival as you step through, paying attention. Um, go ahead and make. Make an investigation check. I'm gonna keep an eye out for anybody that looks like they're noticing us too much. Anything? Yeah, same. Of course. Natural snitch. Yes, of course. Natural snitch. Oh. You are. I have a problem. Oh. You are. I'm, I, I, may, I may have to. I may have to. Like this. I'm aware that there's a lifespan on this guy. That we I may are in hell. Away. If, if it's gonna. You're come gonna out roll anywhere. one natural twenty, and it's gonna dissolve into gold Heads. dust and float away. Heads. It's okay, one of these Heads. days your contract will come to Oh, I'm well aware. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you lift up Talison's mohawk, you can see the little tiny, little points. Mm-hmm. Little yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's fine. Or the maze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hidden <laughs> 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 birthmark. Um, all right, so. Digital tail. <laughs> you walk for about the next 10 or so minutes, and two things you, you notice, kind of kind of just keeping looking at looking for patterns and, and elements of the city around. There does seem to be a general uh, direction of not individuals as such, but a lot of these fleshy masses, these which you've, you've read about in the book. They're, mm. they're referred to as lemurs. Yes. Um, they are Big uh, yeah, fallen damned souls that have been tortured into the specific form oh, how fitting. and are like the most <laughs> lowest base level of devil that exists here. Um, Just a fleshy mass. I'm going to go to bed. Fleshy mass. <laughs> um, but they all seem to be, I mean, not all, but a lot of them seem to be going in a certain direction. It's difficult to maintain nice. focus on on the direction of the tower if you have to avert your eyes. However, if you're looking in a particular direction, it doesn't doesn't like follow your vision when you move. It's whenever you look away and kind of change your perspective on the horizon that's where it appears elsewhere. Sure. So you that's assert yourself in a direction. Cheap VR. Yeah, and maintain that way. <gasps> after about kind of after about 10 <laughs> 15 minutes, shitty clipping. <laughs> you have there is no discernible gaining of distance oh, on the for tower. Sake. In that case, I'm going to find a lemur and inquire sternly of directions. Okay. Um, there sternly? is, you, as, as yeah. you're walking, you see there are three of them that. currently that are kind of uh, chained together with two of these like weird black, uh, jagged, spiked collar and midsection uh, bands that are jammed on their sides, and they're, they're all uh, joined and the, the hooks and the, the chains are screwed into the side of this building. Does, they do not appear to be currently attended at the moment. And as you approach one, it's there, kind of like. <laughs> Fuck. Marketplace. Point. That is fucking there is, there is no, no language there. It 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 looks like it can't really communicate. There, oh it, god! Wow, that's really sad. It kind of is. Well, that's depressing. All right. Ugh. What building are they currently chained to? Um, it looks to be. Um, <clears throat> this looks to be. It's about a three-story tall. Um, Long tower, uh, it's 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 long on one side and then kind of half the size on the other, and it just kind of juts up like a monolith that comes from these two hooks at the top. There's no uh, signs or particular language on its exterior, um, but there does appear to be a doorway, a big black metal iron doorway that is closed, uh, maybe a foot to the left of them. Does it look like people are coming in and out of that building at all? Or uh, if you wait a moment, you can. You can find out. Maybe we can post up and see, or just walk on in. I wouldn't recommend walking up on in. Yeah, and but we're not. We're walking, and nothing's changing. Do we want to stay put for a while and see what happens? Well, our surroundings are changing. We're just <coughs> at this point, the door much. shifts open with a slam. Um, there is kind of a, an, uh, a a burst of kind of phosphorus type. Uh, clouded fume that just drifts out from the interior as curling down, looming from the inside, another one of those uh, large, lanky, skeletal-looking devils with a giant scorpion tail kind of lurches out and sees all of you clustered over and then kind of <laughs> and then begins to rush up quickly and grabs the side of where the hook is jammed into the wall and just <laughs> breaks it out with its bare strength and yanks the lemurs closer to it. You see its jaw almost seems to disconnect and unhinge for a moment as it gets impossibly long. Its tongue kind of <laughs> And begins to just walk away from you guys down the road, dragging these lemurs behind it from the chains. I, as soon as he opened the door, I wanted to get a, a look inside of where he came out of. Perception check. <laughs> do it, do it. Silent Hill shit going on. Yeah, no shit. Oh, it was almost it a was 20. It was almost a 20. But it was a uh, 25. A 25? Yeah. 
Uh, you get a very brief glance from the inside. A uh, very dark red light uh, seems to kind of mm. slightly light the interior. Um, it looks almost like a shelf of some kind. Um, that's as much of a view as you got. It's just like some sort of a shelf, a bit of furniture on the side there. Um, fuck. Hodus, 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 where the fuck are you? Where's a fucking place we if have we, a stupid face? If we can get to a safe place, a yeah, quiet place, I, I can do a locate creature spell and see if I can find him. Yeah. I can yeah. also still scry on him, but I, I just, I need to. You need something. Uh, something not in this back alley of a street. Did that devil who just left leave the door wide open or did it shut up? No, the door like slammed Slammed open as it walked and went towards you guys. It slammed it shut behind them. Which way did did the creature go? Uh, Loosely the same direction as where you're walking for the tower. Keep walking that direction. Keep walking that direction. Mm -hmm. See if we can, if I can gently catch up just to the vague periphery just so that (laughs) I can see, if if I can see them, then great, and if not, Are you following this this group? Is that what's going on? Yeah, from a gentle long distance. Yeah, he did just And not with great intent. Yeah, was he talking to the the lemurs or was was he talking to us? He talking to you guys. To back the fuck off? You were were clustered around, apparently. He was saying, get away from my game. Fuck yeah. off for my people. You don't speak yeah. pissed off, because that was a chain <laughs> devil. <laughs> this is no, this, no, this was a uh, bone devil. That was a bone devil. All right. Which actually happened to be Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Picture pages. Picture mind, pages. Picture pages. Because this means it could theoretically, like you know, turn into them now that I've met them, right? Uh, technically, yeah. <laughs> that won't go poorly. Nope. Get the oh, fuck out! Yeah, that's so that's that's way back. Just put us yeah. in our place. Creepy. Yeah. Oh my God. We're Hello, all we're from out of town. You know, I almost. Oh, I, uh, oh, oh don't, don't you know? Don't, don't, don't you know? Yo, I got my Polaroid with me. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> and we all fall out. Right back and we all die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too much right. Fargo lately. <laughs> uh, oh, just so recent. Ninety Keep episodes following. previous. <laughs> as you as you tell this from a distance. Two hours ago. Um, go make a stealth check, first of all. What? No, don't, no, don't don't curse that. Um, fifteen. <laughs> okay. Rose before. I'm I'm not, I'm not like you know. Keeping the distance. Rolling. Okay. He's D rolling. So, um, do they no. see me? D roll. No. They show up. <laughs> you see D roll. Uh, I love Laura bailing so fast. <laughs> so, you go on the road. As, as you guys are kind of following Percival's lead <laughs> along the roads here, the, the heat still just starting to really crawl under your armor. Those of you that are wearing it, you're fine, Drew. Um,. You watch as the lemurs are dragged off into an alley to the right. If they go to an alley, then I'm not going to go down the alley. Okay. I'm going to walk by and maybe look down the alley from across the street, but I'm not. Okay. I'm trying to stay so on main road. Kind of large arc around and glance over, and you can see them being just pulled down the alleyway, and then to the left around the corner. No, I think we'll. That feels like a trap to me. Yeah. That feels that feels like the sort of thing I would do if I wanted to check someone in an alley. <laughs> yeah. That's uh I've done that actually. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you had. Do I see any kind of buildings that look like people are coming in and out of it raucously? Some sort of luxury. Uh, yeah. n- not yet, not what really. If we just no. walk for a while and look just for keep, that. Just keep walking. Just give it ten minutes and then we'll figure. We'll take a left at the next main thoroughfare. Keep an eye out okay. for anybody watching us. Attempt to sort of round like where that. he's going. Right. Okay. He's gonna keep an eye out for anybody <laughs> watching us. Perception check. Yeah. Um, While I'm looking for, you know, buildings. Twenty-seven. Okay. People. You do hear the occasional screech in the air as you see these winged entities in the distance, kind of. Is they just kind of dive through and around the top of the city. What do we do? We, do we yeah, recognize yeah. what they are? Are they wyverns? What are they? Uh, no, they're they, they're there are humanoid aspects to their bodies, but they're really? just beyond the kind of the general red glow of the city to make out a lot of their details. Can I? I'm going to try and start focusing on that for the next block. If one gets down close, I want to see if I can see okay. what it is. 
Um, some of them look to be imps, armored imps. Armored imps. Uh, these tiny little things that kind of dive through. Some appear to be larger. Some have long tails that draw behind them. They're giant leathery wings, and they just kind of glide through. You get a glance of one that seems to have a human torso and legs that are just kind of hanging at its sides as it kind of swoops through like a sentinel just washing over the city. Yeah. Um, and a lot of them seem to be doing arcs uh, to and from the tower I could as you begin to watch up. these patterns. I could fly up in the air and see if I can spot a market. <coughs> yeah. yeah, she could. She could. I, I, I could be shaped into something Any that's of us. natural. Yeah, that's better. Is it? That, well, I mean, I don't like anybody going up. Ten more minutes of travel, Percival, by the way. Still not anywhere near closer to the tower. Weird thought. What if we try to walk away from the tower? There is no walking away from the tower. This is stupid. What if I thought, what if I think about being in front of the tower? Did you just think about it? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. So you walk towards the tower, but thinking about being there now. Being there. Okay. So you guys keep walking for a little bit. You get about two blocks before you see the next kind of major road turn to the right, and there you can see um, this kind of this road and this path you've been on, which seemed kind of sparse as far as the denizens of the city of Dis, as soon as this big uh, roadway opens to the right of you, uh, the buildings seem to grow larger and taller and, and more, uh, they seem to almost twist and collide the higher they get. There's almost, a few of them almost seem to be, or they're all built and they're all constructed from metal and iron, but there's almost an organic natural curvature at times that seems warped, causing a few to almost seem to collide and, and jut into each other at their peak. Um, many of them have these, big black metal chains that dangle from the outside and giant evil looking hooks that are just mounted on the front of the building, some of which currently hold lemurs that sit there and writhe on it like some sort of punishment for something they did. Um, in the roads themselves, a lot of them have just pikes jutting up and it looks like sections of the road have cracked open and there are natural uh, rock spikes and formations that have kind of protruded out from the ancient construct of the city but people just walk around them as they go. And you do see more people down this way. You see um, you see more of those devil-like creatures. You see a few tieflings in the distance. You see a few humans. You see a few fair-skinned folk wandering through. Um, and you see, indeed, that same uh, bone devil that earlier you saw emerge uh, from the side alleyway about two blocks up. It's still clutching those two other uh, or the three other lemurs behind it by chain. It walks up to another bone devil that's kind of seems to be almost sitting off to the side and is in the process of scratching the side of its horrible bony chin and jaw. It kind of comes up to it and they both speak and snarl. You cannot read their lips because they don't really have lips and you don't know Infernal. Don't know really um, but they both kind of almost become a unit and walking side by side head further down that path with the uh, three chain lemurs behind them. Uh, and glancing over, you do see, as you've been kind of focusing on the ground and around, you look up and the tower has shifted position now to the end of that roadway. Um, you're thinking of it. Uh, no, no. Um, but that, was that what did it? Hmm? No, I mean, it's it's still the same distance it ever has okay. been. It's just, just in the me. process of like, it, you're losing its sight from your peripheral due to other buildings closing yeah. off your vision. As soon as you lose sight of it entirely mm. and reassess where your vision is on the horizon, there the tower is once more. Does it always feel like it's dead ahead of us all the time? No, it's always off to the side, right? It's it, in the same it place. It changes, it's, it's always, as soon as you become aware of the horizon, mm -hmm. yeah. it, or it's oriented wherever that awareness is. All right. That's crazy. Um, can I keep an eye, how about I watch any of the people the humanoids or anything like that that are together, can I see them talking? Does it look like any of them are speaking common, common, common. if I'm trying to read their lips? Uh, there are quite a ways away from you. You're not able to make up a detail. Well, you can begin I'll direction. walk in the direction and just kind of get in the in the area that they're in so I can try to read their lips. Okay. And once again, I want to just keep an eye out because I had a shitty perception check for any birds, mm. bats, beasts that I see flying. No birds, no bats, no beasts. There isn't a whole lot of indigenous wildlife within the hells, it seems, mm. or at least nothing that would be considered a beast. 
insects. Even the insect you saw earlier, it or the insect-like creature, it had kind of twisted fiendish qualities to it on a very micro scale. That was an ambassador. Yeah. It probably was. <laughs> That's the thing, it probably was. Keep dropping my pin out of uh, nervousness. I'm gonna trail my sister by like 10 feet. And okay. Watch it back. So, uh, you're moving closer to get a, a, a view of, of lip reading. What's everyone else doing? Is the ground as hot as the walls are? Mm. It is. And even as you're walking, you've you've grown somewhat accustomed to just the, the uncomfortable heat that your boots are currently mustering. Um, thankfully, you guys are, are wearing uh, footwear that is designed to endure uh, environmental hazards or magical footwear for some of you. Um, but it, you imagine if you were to stand still for too long in one place, it would probably end up damaging any sort of regular footwear worn. Jesus. Like a parking lot, in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Venice in August. Mm. Beach, not. not <laughs> is there anything about the humans in particular? Is that are they wearing anything unusual? Or do they have any company with them that might, you know, denote why they're allowed to just roam about? The two that you see ahead of you, uh, it's a man and a, and a, and a woman. Um, the man has stark white hair, that is. Almost wet and, and like brushed or pushed very tight to the back of the skull, um, with a series of black and red markings or tattoos or some sort of scar that goes across one side of his face. Um, a very very thick nose piercing that connects to a chain that links to the back of his ear, um, and is wearing layered black leather armor. Uh, the woman who's currently conversing with him on the other side. Uh, has long black hair with a shock of white that kind of curls through the front. Um, she is, uh, her skin is, is like a, a, a deep kind of reddish brown, uh, tan color, um, and her armor is a, is a, a dull gray, like a, like a cloth padded armor. Um, but she seems to have at her side a very, very wicked looking scimitar that is just kind of hanging at her belt and she rests her arm on it casually. And uh, you look just past them, and you can see they have what looks like two sacks that are kind of resting on the ground as they're having this conversation, um, and a cage. Empty? Uh, the cage is not empty. There's something inside, but you're not quite close enough to make out any details. You just see there's a cage and there's some shape inside. Um, you make a perception check. That's caught. Twenty-seven. Okay. Said so trinket dice bag. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Fourth. <laughs> and I will say, I will say, make a stealth check as well. This is this is to both get close enough to witness their conversation, but not be noticed as overtly trying to. Mm. Pay. Seventeen. Mm. Okay. Mm. That was bad. Okay. You kind of saddle up. And instinctually go to lean on the wall. And they're like, they're like ah, nah, this, this is not conducive to your usual casual tactics. Um, but you pay attention and you, you catch bits and pieces of their conversation. Um, they're arguing about price. They're both talking about how much it's worth. Is it even worth bringing it here? We've come this far. We already have the offer. Might as well go through with it. Um, one of them talks about how they hate the fetters. The fetters? The fetters. I bet it's one of those little, like the little dudes we had. Fetters yeah. is, is like bondage or chain, isn't it? What were they called? The fetters. Oh. And then one eventually says, well, let's, let's get going. This place kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. I still can't see what they uh, have in the cage. Um, you can glance just barely past and you see what looks to be a, uh, some sort of a humanoid. Uh, naked, um, you can't make out much more detail. You can't tell if it's male or female. Um, appears to be medium to light skinned. Um, you can't get much detail beyond that from this distance, Wait, unfortunately. How, how big is this cage? Uh, it's about maybe four foot by three foot. Oh. Hmm. Uh, A little taller than that, actually. More like three foot by two foot, because it looks pretty cramped. I'm gonna walk up to them before they walk away. 
Okay. As as they both start start turning to walk and um, one as, of them. I'm gonna be casual as I do it. Yeah. Just walk up. You can see there, there, there's Super actually cash. there's a couple of chains affixed to the front of this cage, and there is a handle of some kind that the uh, the guy lifts. And there's small wheels you can now see that are affixed out of the cage. It begins to, to kind of roll away. I don't even look squeak. at the cage at all. Like I don't give a shit about it. <clears throat> um, and I walk up and I say. The woman immediately like turns and sees you, and her hand moves from resting on the pommel of the blade to just like grasping the handle. Same. Oh, are you are you with me? I'm ten feet behind you. I signal at you to come over. I don't want to look like I'm talking to the people yet. Okay. I'm just kind of walking in their direction, and I lean over to my brother and I say, God, I hate this place, don't you? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's so hot. I wish we were back home. It all fucking looks the same. Right. It's nondescript bullshit. I kind of make eye contact with the woman as I say it. Make a subtle deception check. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're intensely paranoid, it seems. Uh, third, no, 20, 21. Okay. She stands there and just keeps watching you. The uh, the guy who was pulling the, you know, the, the cage stops and turns around and looks. You can see his chain kind of swing and dangle for a second before coming to a stop as he just kind of glances back. His eye is uh, irisless, just dark pupils with white around them. And he just kind of, not not a snarl, but a very intense stare. He doesn't seem to be put at an ease, but he's definitely paying attention. Can I help As he you? silences his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? You too. It's a massive head point. I'm sorry, what? You were staring at me, darling. You, uh, unless I'm mistaken, approached our space. Oh, you had claimed it. Sorry. Everything is claimed. She turns around and kind of just kind of gives him an expression of fucking shove off, and he just takes the chain and begins tugging it, and they both just walk away. That didn't go as well as I planned. <laughs> Can't win them all. <laughs> I just want to find a fucking tavern. <laughs> you just, you just let him walk away? Um. Yeah, but as they walk away, I want to look at the fucking cage and really get a good look at what they had. Okay. Glancing inside, it's it's. You're not sure how old or how young, um, but there is a definitely beaten, uh, wounded, uh, young man. Uh, between the streaks of blood and you know visible, uh, gashes and lash marks, uh, it appears that they're. Uh, Skin seems pretty vibrant and clean. This is not. This is a creature that was taken here. This person was taken here against their interest and is being dragged in a direction. All right. Before they walk off, I go, "Oi! You made a deal for that one yet?" Oh, no. Turn back and look at you. Yeah. Where'd you go? I have something I'd like to sell as well. We don't share our clients. And they both just keep walking back in the direction they were going. It's not working. I'm trying. No, oh, it was you such a good try. Amazing. Ugh. Hey, man. Oh God. <laughs> what, what about an? Uh, I want to get off the street. I'm tired of walking. We've been walking all. He's about. 20 feet from you. We've been walking all day. He's not even turning around. Just don't, They're just, just walking them. away. Are you, are you whispering yes, to me? Yes, I am so <laughs> yeah. okay. It didn't work. We find other people. I'm currently spitting on the ground and watching it evaporate. And it does. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I mean, what are, do I see a tavern around here? It seems like a busy sort of street. <laughs> you can keep walking, looking for some sort of a tavern. Are there any other people around? I'm going to give a roll. Uh, sure, make it. I mean, there people. Those are the only two humans that you had seen in the vicinity. Um, like you saw 
tieflings? You saw uh, a handful of tieflings a little even further down the road, and then there are a lot of, uh, um, you see a, a few humanoid-like devils that are just covered in barbs and spines oh, that kind of seem to walk in spurts, like the like step, step, and then kind of dash a few steps and then stop and then glance around nervously and then continue forward about roughly a little human size, maybe a little smaller. Jeez, is everyone here afraid that they're gonna <laughs> be murdered at any corner? No, obviously not, way. just us. Let's try this proper. I'm just going to start walking and see if I can make eye contact with anything. You're gonna try and make eye contact with these people? Are you guys following them or are you staying back with your party? Uh, well, uh, I'm, <coughs> I'm walking in their direction. Anyway. I, yeah, I yeah. thought we yeah. were like, just well, like You guys them. have caught up to them now, and Percival is apparently walking forward. Come so. on. Oh, is he? Where are you going? Just trying to. Did you notice know <coughs> no one here makes eye contact with you? It's really weird. No, they did. Hmm. Kind of I'm follow head in the general the... direction of those people that walked off. Yeah, I'm going to head towards the tieflings as well, the, which I think is the same direction anyway, so. Uh, yeah, they're they're they tend to like as you're following from a distance these these two humans. I'm um, thinking about a pub because yeah, the, the the two tieflings that were conversing kind of split off. One walks across the way and vanishes into an alley. The other one kind of joins not not the humans, but it seems to be walking in the same direction. If maybe about twenty or so feet ahead of them. As we walk a little bit, I just want to kind of covertly, kind of. Heat up my hands, light them up a little bit, and then touch the wall to see if it burns me as well. A little bit. Just kind of grease my fingers along it. The flames that you create from your hand are magically produced and insulated from your mm -hmm. body because you are the source of their magic by the blessing of the ember stone that you struck. Um, it does not unfortunately protect you from the searing heat of the building. As you reach out, immediately you take four points of fire damage. <laughs> Even though my mantle of the Tempest, I ignore extreme heat. You ignore extreme heat from like a general air, like being on a desert. Okay. This Good is. To know. It doesn't prevent you from touching a fire and burning your hands. That's what I was curious four, about. Yeah. Four damage Fucking lesson. A. Stove, 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 stove. Oh. Uh. Yeah. It's good. It's stove. good. It feels good. Stove it feels cat. good. Stove cat. Okay. Some of the rolling clouds, you hear a distant clap of thunder um, kind of roll through the vicinity, it's the occasional flashes of uh, bluish white <laughs> light and the green ash clouds on top of you. Those humans are both gone out of sight? Humanoid? No, they're still inside. You guys are slowly following them from a distance. <sighs> And you said they split off? They split away from each well, other? Well, the humans kept going, but the tieflings that he was following, there was like, there, oh. was, there was two of them that were kind of like, kind of loosely stepping in, and they kind of split off. One vanished into an alley, and the other One began walking in the same direction. I can't talk to this guy because I'm about to. We're fucking dicking around here. I'm just going to ask somebody where to find a pub or an inn. Yeah. That's all. That's Come all. On. I'm not Come trying on. to be coy, I'm not trying to be interesting. We can't pretend shit here. Come no. On, let's just go talk to him. Wait, are we interesting? Yes, we are oh. interesting. Oh. You watch as three. <laughs> Different uh, flying imp like creatures suddenly just like dart off of nearby buildings and kind of dart past you. Mm. And you watch as the two humans kind of stop and drag themselves off to the side. The tiefling that was kind of walking not far, not far ahead of them uh, kind of takes a few steps back and kind of waits patiently as you watch um, stepping through one of the adjacent uh, roadways about three or four. Small uh, devils that have these uh, kind of barbed spines that kind of stick out of their body in all directions come walking through, carrying these little spears. Ooh, we step off to the side. I bring, I push everybody yeah, we, to the we've side. We push and off to down. the side. And, and around. Uh, kind of as a procession behind them, you see a familiar creature. <laughs> you see uh, a massive, rippling, uh, red muscled. Pit fiend <gasps> comes stepping through. Oh no, oh no. Not the one, not that one. It's not no. the same one? I don't know. I don't know. You said a familiar creature. Yeah. I mean, the creature is familiar. You're not. It doesn't mean okay, okay. Not sure. pit fiend. Mm -hmm. Please, but you see, Please, it, it can just begin lurching through the street, strolling like it's walking with purpose to whatever business destination it has. But it has an entourage around it of lesser demons that are all kind of clearing the street as it walks. 
I kind and of, you can see the respect that a creature of this strength has, even within the center of this sphere of hell. And behind it, you see a very, very large orb, about 10 feet in diameter. It's like glistening golden glass, and on the inside, it seems to have what looked to be almost a hundred different screaming faces pressed against it from the inside that are just kind of merging and swirling. And as it's being pulled by these lesser demons behind it, the pit fiend just walking like it's the middle of its work day. No crosses movements. the path, the demons and the cart continue past out of view, and eventually the various entities walking the street before pick up their pace and continue on like nothing happened. I kind of like it here. <sighs> I kind of subtly, as he goes by, studies and examines what he looks like, the pit fiend. Okay. Come on, let's go have a chat. Uh, it's very very similar in size and, and uh, shape, design, and musculature as the one that you battled in the City of Brass. There are a couple of pretty quick to pick out marks and changes in like the bony crescent horns on its head and the coloration on its wings go to like a dark, deep purple as opposed to the, the bright, vibrant red that the last one was. So it is a different entity than the one you battled. Um, <laughs> you continue walking and you're starting to notice as you follow these people forward, the further you walk in this path, and they're already, the, the, the sides of the alleys and the street corners and such were pretty littered with broken refuse that were pushed into the corners, but the further you step into this, the more and more destitute and filthy the city seems to become. You begin to see more and more uh, lesser demons just kind of sitting off to the side, just uh, lazily looking around for some, some sort of uh, impulse to kick in and grab something that's dangling from the bottom of whatever food chain exists here. You see more lemurs that are in the process of being grabbed and fought over that have kind of just dwindled over time, like their, their fleshy, uh, tortured soul mass has been just abused and slowly disintegrated and has been kind of left uh, to be fought over by whatever exists in this area. The buildings themselves begin becoming less these large monolithic towers of black iron and more resembling sagging uh, stone-like swamp structures that have like a blackish purple moss that seems to seep from the side. The air almost becomes more humid with the heat as you pass through. Oh. Um, the streets are becoming far more dense. You are seeing more uh, humanoids of different races. You're seeing uh, more of the lesser uh, devils kind of uh, coalescing in these center spaces. And you do see what appears to be some semblance of what you would call a devilish tavern. There is no music, there is no lively chatter, but you do see what looks to be uh, chairs. You look to see what seems to be a common area where some entities are sitting and partaking in food of some kind. As we Sometimes. move through the streets, I just kind of want to trail behind Bax and take a look at if anyone's reacting to him unusually or taking notice of him. Okay. Make a perception check. Don't fuck me, girl. Okay, uh, yeah, 24. Okay. Um. It's, all, it's all right, it's all right. You, um, as you're kind of keeping an eye out, the gleaming bright albino uh, tiefling does seem to at least have caught the eye of a handful of humanoid, it looks like like humans. You see that they're trailing behind you by a good hundred or so feet. They are following us? But they appear to be no. following you. Um, one <laughs> appears to be a, uh, it looks dwarvish in how stout it is, um, but it's hard to tell at this distance. Um, and the humanoid creature to the right of it is human-sized, but it is wrapped in a wreath of dark chains that seem to 
uh, cover most of the features of the face and the torso. You can see bits of skin and muscle peeking through, but it's just an entire robe of very tightly wound chains just amassed around its torso and legs and arms. Ooh, this is like Hellraiser. I was having totally. Hellraiser. Oh. Does he um, be perfectly normal? Does he seem to be following slightly behind in step of the dwarvish maybe creature? They're kind or? of staying in step with each other, but oh, you Oh, it's a buddy movie. Mm. Yeah, buddy cop. Um, but you're but they're like both the very the directly affixed and have been for a little while on the White tiefling that is just walking. Right. How I far off is this tavern from us? Uh, I mean, you notice it at this point as you're yeah. kind of walking naturally forward. It's about thirty feet off. I kind of come well. over the comms and I say, "Hey, Vaxi Poo, mm -hmm. I think we're being followed. I kind of feel like they can smell you." Me specifically? Well, you uh, are quite lovely, brother. <sighs> Into the tavern? Into it's the up tavern. ahead. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out. I, it's like a kind of stout, maybe dwarf, dwarvish man and the humanoid creature covered in chains. Right. I glance maybe. back and see you. them. Thank you for the heads up. Oh, I'm gonna go in. Yeah. I stand outside the tavern mm. with Grog and wait for everybody to get inside. Uh, I go step in, in inside. Yes. Yes. Stepping inside the tavern. Mm -hmm. I slip inside as well. Okay, as you guys and <laughs> Tarion kind of follow suit. And, yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dodie, do whatever he does. <laughs> he points to Grog. Mm. Dodie kind of sips up oh, right next to you. <laughs> what a setup. Um, inside, inside. As you guys enter, the the low burning kind of orangish red glow of the interior shows you uh, a slab slate floor across. You see uh, tables that are carved from similar uh, deep obsidian bedrock type material. Um, the edges of them almost hook upward, and you can within the inside you can see uh, a handful of these similar spine devils that you've seen as part of that procession earlier with the pit fiend are sitting and ravenously feasting on some nondescript purplish red meat. <laughs> um, you can see the tables actually are almost like troughs, and the center of it seems to be almost a funnel that where all the blood and gore that is oh. uh, sent out from the viscera that, that is, you know, slurps past their uh, toothy maw oh, um, is gathered and then siphoned down good. below. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, these spined devils look like the thing we fought under Krieg's house. Was that Krieg's house? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the succubus. Should yeah. Yeah, I just woke yeah, up, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna ask for room. You can show pictures of all these creatures, it's great. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to stay downstairs to see if they try and come in. Yeah. Is there a bar here? We're still outside. There is the... Yeah. Yeah. I love a good spine devil. feasting at the one table there. Oh my is God. there the hellish equivalent of a bar here? You uh, glance, uh, that, that, that's one table there. There's another table where you can see what looks to be a, a uh, deep red skinned, very handsome looking uh, man uh, who has black hair that kind of fades to a, a very faint gray at the tips. It's long, goes past the shoulders. He has horns that protrude up the front. The rest of his body is swathed in a uh, dark black and gray cloak, and you can see wings kind of folded against his back, and he just sits there clutching a goblet at the table, usually staring into it as he occasionally sips, just kind of lost in his own thought. Um, beyond that, in the corner, you yeah, do well, see sitting <laughs> a rather rotund, uh, he's, he's a, a greasy, obese-looking fella who's been, uh, he has a, a big, matted, uh, brown beard, his hair is this kind of curl, and he has a whole series of scratch marks across his face that just long, deep-set scars that kind of just leave this this very marred uh, visage. And he grins, this toothy grin as you enter. You can see he's just, uh, his chest hair that exposed under his, his white tunic and his uh, leather uh, apron that he has over the front of that, it's just a, a very, very, disturbing grin when he smiles at you as you enter. 
and he sits up from his stool and walks over and puts his hands down. And as it puts his hands down, you can see them begin to burn his skin, but you can now see his calloused fingers. You can see he's been here for quite some time and has had his own way of adjusting to the atmosphere and just kind of leans in. Who is Dark the Magist? Uthak. Uthak. Common. Uthak. Rooms. Uh, you heard from around here. <laughs> Certainly not. Urmigard. Urmigard? Urmigard. Urmigard. As, as you here. say that, <laughs> the uh, the devilish entity that was sitting at the table like, slowly <laughs> turns its head over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... And is now, has now taken an interest in this group that has entered and is <laughs> sipping his wine. <laughs> I look back at him and I Do light better. up my fingers and I give him the flaming finger <laughs> and the point. <laughs> <laughs> Super douchey. Gives a nod. Over exaggerated nod. He's literally eating no raw more meat Kile. and blood. Yeah, no, no more eye contact. Oh, sorry. Holy no, no, that's right. Well, no he just has a goblet. Yeah. Oh, red meat. You don't know what's in it. You don't Do know you have rooms it. available? We can. Provide space, yes. We're here on a few days' business, and we were hoping to find a friendly place to rest our heads. On occasion, maybe taking a meal of something not necessarily a. Uh, Organ. Too base. conscious. Too conscious. And he kind of leans in and goes, <coughs> I can provide that. Don't worry. <laughs> How are you paying? Will coins suffice? I suppose. If we get anything more exciting, we'll be sure to let you know. We just got here. One room. And he puts up a thick, meaty finger that you can see is kind of, it's been broken in two places and <laughs> oh not peeled right. Awesome. Stop it, Matt. Awesome. Ah. Three rooms. And a special meal for the lot. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty gold. Wow. Wow, vacation destination right here. Yes. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, it's airport prices. Yeah, totally. You Let's sir. be honest, it doesn't really matter what. We Is that two fifty a night price. or two fifty for for <laughs> no, total total for our stay? Gives you all a really dark look. We'll say for the stay, a few days. You said right. For that, three hundred and fifty. I think I feel that I want you to know just how grateful that we are. I'll put the extra hundred out of my personal pen. You can see, like, like he's like he's looking at you as he's saying this, and he's like he's contemplating. You can see there's that there's that urge to like. Jack it up. To Don't jack it up, her. but he keeps like glancing past you occasionally and just nods and accepts it. Do I notice this? As uh, he's talking, yeah, I turn saying, around and lean yeah, against yeah, yeah. The, the table that he's talking over and see who he's looking at. Okay. Does that burn you? You take five points well, of fire. Yeah, but I'm going to act like I'm, I'm going to act totally <laughs> calm about it. Yeah, you're cool. Uh, you glance, Badass. kind of watching his eye line, and you can see that same like dark red skinned, devilish looking man who was paying attention to you all is currently meeting his gaze directly and gives him a nod. Oh, no, 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 this ain't no hostile situation. Oh, hell no. I think he might be the owner. That makes sense, th but still, still, <laughs> no, uh, no. We're not gonna go in here to be sold in the middle of the night. Why, could be we're fun. good, we're good. Are we cool? I think we're cool. Can Let's we insight check out. the guy we're talking to? Sure, go for it. Okay. <clears throat> sure, why not, there we go. Yeah, that, that's good. 17. 17? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's hard to read. Um, he seems to be a pretty fucking creepy guy yeah. who's giving you rooms to stay in, mm. and he seems to be making eye contact and 
Oh, his reactions somewhere. based on some sort of unspoken conversation with this other entity in the room with you. Um, Man. But he reaches down without breaking eye contact with the rest of you as well and puts a set of three keys <laughs> under the table. There are all these kind of ragged looking black iron constructs that all are identical in some ways, but they're handcrafted. Uh, you know, visual style shows that they have different slight changes to their designs. He kind of shoves them forward towards you. A pretty meal. He reaches down, you hear the clanking of, of some sort of glass-like instruments, and he pulls up these small, almost dull gray-looking sponge-like stones that are about that large, and kind of puts one out in front of each of you. Takes the coins. <sighs> Goes and walks back Wait, to his Wait, before he walks away. Down. How long have you owned this place? Oh, I don't know. I just work here. Who runs it then? Why are you asking so many questions? Oh. I'm curious, big man. That's all. Make a persuasion check. Eighteen. She said with confidence. <laughs> Something I need to know basis, sweetheart. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Goes and like kind of sweatily waddles over to his chair in the corner and sits down. Is this rock tartar? Oh my god, we used to serve this all the time <laughs> in the Arashari. They, it was a delicacy in the Arashari. As you as you yeah. lift it and bring it towards you, it seems to have this like very very faint energy around it. Oh, I don't let's, I don't know if this is rock. Let's get up to the rooms. Details. Yeah, hmm. I want Terry to identify it once we get up to the rooms. I kind of I kind of do like a. Dump, dump to don't, that. No, don't, don't not to yet, that. Kaleth. Uh, <laughs> Kaleth, as you tap, tap. it <laughs> toward, and bring it towards your mouth, you guys watch as it kind of glows with a faint, pale yellow-green uh, color. And Kaleth, you hear this this faint, soft kind of wailing sound as oh, this so this <laughs> slight drift of soul energy drifts <gasps> off of the stone and <gasps> is inhaled <gasps> by Keyleth. Oh. <laughs> Don't play with the food, Keyleth. Keyleth, you feel a sudden rush. An unexpected rush of energy. Your vision clarifies. Give it to Keyleth, she'll try, try anything. <laughs> you ate a soul, Keyleth? <laughs> that, that had a name. That had a life, that had a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You made some bad decisions, oh yeah, and on. now you're eating hold on, hold on. it. I gotta like hear it. Sudden rush of energy. And you just sudden rush of energy. energy. It's so Keyleth. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> um, so you, proud of you you feel very awake. Your senses <laughs> clarify, and like a boundless surge of energy in your body, like you could do anything. Do we, are we resting right now? Let's go right now. <laughs> Let's go up to the room. Are you, are you okay with This that? is like the best rock tartar I think I've ever experienced. Oh my God, how long is it? Terry, by the way, goes. Like a... No, no, Terry. Oh, no, no, no. Just like sucking hard on the stone. <laughs> then the transition, oh and you God. watch like the hairs in the back of his neck kind of stand, and he goes. <sighs> Good sir. How much are each of these? Yeah, yeah. I'm quietly thinking about Scanlan watching this happen. <laughs> <laughs> the guy kind of sits forward goes, For you, 30 gold apiece. Terry. And Terry goes, I'll take 20. <gasps> By the lot, Terry. <laughs> oh. By the lot. Good so man. Bad. And I like, beast man, hug, <laughs> like, shake him. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm great. You I feel great. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. We've what? got one left. Yeah, let's take it upstairs. Let's go upstairs. We've got no. We've right got now. one for each of us. <laughs> you said three of them. <laughs> three rooms. So Sam, work on six hundred gold. I think so. And wherever you are, <laughs> Sam, mark down. 
20 soul stone slivers. <laughs> there, Welcome to Hollywood. They're, they're soul stone slivers? Yes. That's what they're fucking called? That's a... Man, you need to put a disclaimer on those. Let's get to the rooms, yeah. shall we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is everything I wanted. Uh, yeah, let's go to the rooms. All right. You guys make your way up to the chambers, and to your surprise, the interior of these rooms are fairly well furnished. While the entrance chamber was seemed to be pretty brutal, the chambers that you were given, there aren't next to each other, they're a little scattered as far as the rooms, and there's only maybe 10 or so rooms in the whole establishment, um, but each room has a very well-crafted bed. Um, there appear to be uh, some well-made chairs of a similar stone material down of the downstairs uh, set up there, all having this weird, jagged uh, styling to their construct. Um, the chamber is still hot as fuck, and it is an uncomfortable interior, but the bed itself does not appear to be bursting into flames. The material no. <laughs> here is seemingly resistant to the heat in which it's in the proximity. Oh, it's just a bed in I open up the bag of clothing and just, like, yeah. put my face next to it. <laughs> Don't fall in. No, I just want to breathe in the cold. <laughs> Opening up the freezer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't lick it either. Um, Tear. Should we wait? Should we all go to one room then? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And I want to like look all around the room and see if anybody's like watching. If there's any kind of like holes yeah. in the wall. Is there any, check. any kind of bugs or any? Uh, or Investigation bugs. check. Bugs or bugs. Bugs or bugs. Bugs or bugs. I cast black light. Bugs and bugs and bugs and bugs. I cast <laughs> black light. Oh. oh shit. Oh 13. no. Thirteen. I got an eighteen. It's kind of okay, like cool. daylight. So, so you, you guys take a good <laughs> ten minutes or so um, as you're looking over the room. Everyone's alter selves except for Keyleth's fate. Yeah, we were close there. We were very you guys were close. Very close. Um, but you glance around the room and it seems safe. You don't see any sort of signs of, of any spying. Okay. Terry, you look like yourself again. <laughs> oh, I'm about to feel a lot more like myself here in a second. And he starts yeah, rummaging through the. No, nope. not yet. Just hold on one second. Maybe Pace I yourself. cast identify on those just before you you eat another. Oh one. yeah, Terry. Oh, yeah. Right, Terry. There are beds. <gasps> and Keila goes and jumps up on a bed <laughs> and just starts Terry kind of jumping like, on him a little. <gasps> kind of leans into you and goes like, "Is she hitting on me?" I, as as Keila jumps in the bed She's, in the background. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Just go with it. Don't make any sudden movements and let it get it out of the system. Right, right. <laughs> mm. Mattresses are springy here. What's wow. the D&D equivalent of a glow stick? <laughs> uh, be a sunrock. <laughs> That's actually true. That, that is actually true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to gently hop her in the ankle to see if I can get her to just fall into the bed and stop hopping. <laughs> Percy just knocks you under your ass. <laughs> oh, okay, Keith. Right. Okay. The, uh, by the way, the, the, the kind of buzz, if you will, the rush slowly begins to fade over the next minute or so. Uh, Terry and finishes his identification goes, huh! Apparently these are uh, receptacles to contain a fragment of refined soul. What? Oh, cool. Yeah, these were once living people. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, I start. I start giving kills. You just ate a person. You just ate people. <laughs> I know. I know. I go with Terry and puke. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna give her a scalp massage. So does, does so. the identification spell <laughs> actually tell you the name of the person that you're consuming? Nope. Okay, I'm I was just glad. curious. I don't want to. I didn't. I don't. I, I'm sure they were a terrible person. How many if they're here, they're probably a terrible person. They're probably terrible people. How many right? souls did you just buy? I don't know. <gasps> well, it was fragments, so maybe it's only like five souls completely. Maybe. I don't know the logistics. Like a whole I mean, family. You were basically. really up though when you were, uh, you know, small folk band at the very least. Trade off. But like, does it heal you? What Dodia do the fragments do? I mean, do the soul fragments just like get you? Yeah. What like, happened? What happened when that do happened? Do you do you just feel better? Are you healed, or are you just like not hungry anymore? Sustained. Uh, it's sustained. It's it, okay. it 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 is. I mean, as far as you understand, and, and from from what your experience there, you know what sort of any sort of hunger pains that would have existed there seem to have been uh, staved off. And there is a it's, 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 it's literally silent. That's really messed up because now I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm it's very hollow sustenance. I'm really hungry now. Well, yeah. we're about to have a hero's yeah. feast, yeah. so oh, back boy. to the plan. 
back to the oh, plan. Oh, God. My throat's scry. a little tight. You're going to be fine after you scry. Okay, scry. Let's scry on Hotis. And then the feast? I'm going to give her a, a, a shot of something just to calm down. Yeah, can you give me like a minute? I'm going to give her a shot of something. Okay. Mm. What are we doing? Go back for more scrying or feasting? Let's scry first. <laughs> okay. And then feast. It's certainly spirits at the very least. It's soul and spirits. <laughs> I shouldn't be finding this as funny as I am. Oh, it's very incredible. Keyleth paces back and forth for about five minutes and then goes, okay, yeah. I'm good. Let's settle. I'm great. Right. <laughs> okay. Grog, do you want to keep leaning against the door, maybe? I'm just afraid. I feel really uncomfortable here. Are there windows in the room at all? Nope. Okay. Can I touch the door with my pointy finger real quick? Yes, you do. Is it, buddy? It is. Hey. Maybe Doty can lean against yeah, the door. Yeah, Terrytown. Can Stand you have, in front uh, of the... Dotes? The whole, the which, by the way, <laughs> as, as Krog does that, Dirty goes. <laughs> How's he doing? Under the door, and Terry's like, "Oh, uh, Dodi, you can stop doing that." But do lean against the door. Hmm. Does he take fire damage? Doesn't appear to be affecting him. Okay, good. So over the next minute or so, you do see parts of the back of his armor begin to glow a dull okay. red to kind of match the. The coloration of the edges of the buildings. Oh, That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, Don't yeah, touch yeah. Doty. Don't yeah. touch Doty. But a very nice. It's my favorite fight. board game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't, touch Don't touch Doty. Doty. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for it. Uh, seems like a Catholic school game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Oh my God. We're gonna scry on Hodas. <laughs> We're gonna scry on Hodas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scry using my fifth level spell, not the scrying eye, because I'm gonna use my spell ability and it's gonna be awesome. And I'm not gonna be high from a soul that I accidentally consumed. Now you're gonna be bottoming out. Okay, hold on I'm, just a second. Man, just let's, another soul. let's man, add to Keyleth's guilt a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, it was already soul. dead, Keyleth. Or maybe it was like, the soul gems. Yep, that thing was still alive. Don't. Oh, say. Don't, don't help. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm kind of sure it. it was somebody who murdered children. Yeah, probably it was probably a really bad person. Asshole. You know, not. And now they're inside of you. Right now. No. What level is the uh, what level spell is described? <laughs> Fifth. Fifth. Um, as soon as you <laughs> cast the spell and center your vision on the idea of Hotis, the spell immediately fizzles and dissipates. Son of a. Son of a. And you, be, you begin to remember through God. your research of the Rakshasa up to they, a certain level of spells. They do magic does not on that spells, they're immune to it. Yeah. Oh, damn it! To the nine or second layer of hell. All right. Um, so I'm going to try high. again. I'm going to yeah, try again. At what I am level? going to. Seven, we're in for the night, yeah. We're in for I the think night. Can I be. think that's the that's the plan. That's the intention. And we're going to eat a hero's We're all topped piece. off at the moment. So whatever you do, we'll make up. Did Do we come? know if the Nine Hells have day and night the same way I'm not that... topped off, I need four hit points. <laughs> I touch Grom's shoulder and I give him <laughs> four hit points. <laughs> and just like that. <laughs> Thank you. Ticklish. Yeah, it's a little bit. Does this place right. have day and night the same way? Hands. Yeah, it's black feathers. Yeah. We'll be um, eating a hero's feast, correct? Yeah, but are we going to scry first? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do an eighth level scry. An eighth level Shit. scry. Shit. Okay. Boom. Show me what you got. Eat it, hold it. Show me what you got. Hold this. Eat that scry. Hold it. Hold it. Oh god, he is. <clears throat> this time, you grit your teeth. The space is already prepared for the first ritual you I did. also, I give it like a good 10 minutes, let him kind of get distracted and forget that he maybe mm. just got scryed on. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> You close your eyes, and this time remembering both the original conflicts with him in the Quad Roads. Um, the battle, which you recall, was at the base of a statue of Dispater, mm -hmm. the archdevil of this sphere of hell. Oh, fuck. Way back then. Oh, no. Um, you oh, remember no. him falling off the top of the balcony um, with Vax. Uh, and then being stabbed. And the using these memories, you focus on on the the essence of Hodus. Your vision mm -hmm. suddenly pulls out of the top of this uh, chamber that you're in, 
to a brief glance, just a flash over the horizon of the city. And there's the, there you see the ominous dark tower for but a moment. Then there's a flash as your vision is pulled further in to this, this uh, cityscape of, of darkened, withering uh, alleys and, and the, the whole atmosphere as, as the, the, the core of this space that you guys are heading towards seems to be uh, disheveled, ruined, destitute, and filthy. Your vision is dragged in that direction to ground level, then below, and is brought suddenly thrust into chambers, dark, bars, iron doors, a prison. A prison beneath the streets of the city. There's another flash. You see devils, dozens of them, walking guards, some larger than others. You see a flash of large red leathery wings. You see something horned and uh, dark, grinning beyond a metal door, and then beyond that door, there's another flash. And on the inside, you see tendrils of red flesh extending from the ceilings and the walls, all merging to a center, small core. There you see this fleshy egg-like structure about this large that is suspended by these uh, these strands of m muscly sinew. And there you see writhing and twisting within the membrane of this a small, misshapen, humanoid, cat-like creature that is currently writhing on the inside. You can hear the faint squealing and screaming in pain as Hotis, not yet fully formed, slowly torturing its way back to its full physical form, is just screaming with hatred, awaiting the moments of vengeance once the torturous pain that currently consumes its existence fades. Nick can once more plot its return to the Prime Material Plane. But it was like in a prison underground, under the tower. In a Fabergé egg. Or um, Fabergé underneath egg. this portion of the city or a little ways in. Suspended Holy by octopi. And then, fuck. This is gonna go great. Holy anything, shit. Anything else, anything else, anything else? Do you see anything That's else? That's all you, you see around it. You, you just saw flashes kind of leading into this. Like you have no, you have no idea exactly where it is. All you saw were flashes of a prison under, under the city and Hote is still kind of incubating in this chamber. Possible. Go. I gotta get arrested. Or. We gotta. Or become police officers. Yeah, police academy. That's the next. We got Keyleth. We'll get arrested. No problem. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Just <laughs> tell me to go do something in public. <laughs> that's all you need. Um, all right. So I, I'm um, remembering. It seems like Hotis might serve. You know, the devil of this realm, the leader, the president, as you have said a few times, Grog. Despater. Mm-hmm, Despater. Seems like he serves him and is in a prison. You know, what's fun? I feel like a lot of the things we were looking for this whole time are just all underground. It's like an underground city. Man, this is terrifying. What if that means it's just as hot underground? Well, the good news is, once we find Hodus, it'll be super easy. The bad news is, finding Hodus super hard. Yeah, gotta find out. I assume she's. You filled us all in on what you saw. Yeah, I'm assuming I. Yeah. So all we so have we to do is teleport through that tree. That's underground. <laughs> right. We right. can send him a small bonsai tree. Oh, I like it. Gift. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and as soon as he wakes Withers up, and dies in an we have hour. to find the prison. We have to find the prison, and find out what it is, who runs it, <sighs> and then get in, get arrested. Get Infiltrate, perhaps. Infiltrate. Pull I kind a favor. of, I, I have a weird feeling that this prison is run by. Um, what dis dis Lord Dispater himself? James Spader. James Spader. Yeah. James Spader. Well, you said it wasn't fully formed, right? It's still like in its goo phase. It is. Am I the only one that feels like this is an awful lot of trouble for something that's not a problem yet? The trouble <coughs> is, once it becomes a problem, it continues to be a problem until you cut it off at the at the root. Yeah, it's he just only too... stops as when you kill him down here. <laughs> right, Grog. It's two um, two different sets of problems here. He's a wee wee bab in a in a chocolate egg, but getting to him is difficult. If we wait, then he gets the jump on us when we're sleeping in our beds. Not in a chocolate egg. Not in a chocolate egg. Then he looks like a guy in like a mascot suit at a, at like a winter's something cereal. 
Or like or Gilmore. Him. Or like Keyleth. Or like Pike. Yeah. Oh, I can't even imagine Hotus disguised as Pike. I know, what a dick move that would be. So it's now or later, it's just a different set of problems. And now we know what we're doing, at least. At least. Okay. So? I may, well, I'm tempted to head downstairs to have a drink and start mm. scoping out and seeing who might know what's what about that prison. Yeah. I mean, we know fucking nobody in this city. No. And they all are, look like garbage, so why don't we just start with the garbage downstairs? Small no. question, we checked in as you checked in as tieflings. Yeah. Yes. We have to re-alter <laughs> ourselves yeah. have a nap. before we go downstairs. For bursts of an hour each time. Or we could just not talk about it and, and just see if anyone actually notices it. And just see if anyone's going to be rude about it. Yeah, There's only like a few feeling. rooms in this place, I right? I have a feeling they, they keep a fairly close eye on their patrons. So. Hmm. Or broken sausage finger may be sharper than we think. Mm. Yeah. I have a feeling there were more eyes on us here than we even realize. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, I'm really hungry. Can we have that fucking feast now? Yeah. Yeah. And I make a hero's feast. Alrighty. All right. You guys go ahead and muster the hero's feast. I mark off a thousand, a thousand gold. gold. Extra hit points, no fear. Yep. Lustrous hair. Shiny fingernails. Shiny <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> Feel like you ate a soul. <laughs> Does that mean all of our heal, our health, our points are healed, or are we just still? Well, if you guys take a full rest, you will. Oh. <laughs> and what's the oh, that's point? the question I wanted to ask you. Did we know if here night and day is the same? Uh, you don't know that. No, that wasn't in any of his books. Um, make an intelligence check, actually. Well, that's um, uh, twelve. I really have no idea. I mean. You know, there are beds, there are places to stay, and from what you can tell, there are, there is traffic from creatures that travel from, you know, from different planes, probably require sleep. So whether or not there is a day-night cycle based on any sort of improbable sun, um, there probably <laughs> are sun. expected days, you know, like sleep cycles for creatures that need to sleep. They pump oxygen in, you can stay up as late as you want. Yeah, it's fine. No windows. Right. Yeah. So, Keyleth, roll 2d10. All right. I'm so excited. Come Big on now. Big money, no whammies. That's an eight for one, and the other, not as good. Um, <laughs> 10 total. I don't okay, know so why I went vaguely um, Bonus walking. of 10. Oh, that's an average. 10 guess, total. Close to average. Um, so, 10 maximum hit point increase to everybody for the next 24 hours. I also, at the end of dinner, say I would like to raise a toast. Vox Machina, for going and being together all the way to hell and back. Well, oh well, well, we're just not getting ahead of ourselves. Back. All the way to hell and here to hell. Cheers. To hell. Thanks to the wonderful guidance of the voice of the tempest, okay. Keyleth of the oh, Arashari, Terry, and oh, the geez. keep writing this down, and oh. the majesty <laughs> of the heroic and adventurous. Drive. Yes. Yeah. Of Terry and Darrington. Of Terry, everybody, to Terry and Darrington. To me. And, and to you. And to you. With and that, I do inspiring leader. Ooh. My newest feat, since I'm a leader. <laughs> <laughs> what voice is this? Mine. No. <laughs> That's your leader voice. This is why I'm a voice actor. <laughs> and, uh, so you, you cheer and talk for about 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> Cheers to Terry and Darrington and his glistening armor and his, oh. his flowing locks of golden hair and his, and I continue for 10 minutes about Terry and Darrington wow. and his glistening boots of. Shining upkeep and like his. I'm losing hit points right I yeah. want to throw up. The whole up. time yeah. Tony is writing it all down, and then I give temporary hit points equal to my level, which is 17, plus my charisma modifier, which is nothing. So you get an extra 17 on that Whoa. 10. How That's we, temporary, though. Why are we in temporary? 
by hearing you talk all that shit about Terry. Because well, it's in the spell I don't book. feel inspired. Because I would hope that from with my, d- you know, Terry's <laughs> golden locks of flowing hair and with my very impressive cape that I got, you know, for touring the world. We'll it's say, like a frequent flyer We'll say for card. the purposes of this, <laughs> and, um, Tarion got 17 temporary hit points. What? Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Vex? I'm s- still practicing. No, I'm you know still, what? Yeah, I'm it's still, getting there. I'm Maybe getting next there. time, share the compliments. Make Do all I of us feel cool. God, yeah. Yeah. All this God while, Vex has been staring at Terry and imagining him with exactly half a beard. <laughs> <laughs> While Terry and most of you staring intently, and she's giving this inspiring speech about how and amazing his, Terry, Terry looks over at you and goes, "Belt that's she bejeweled." Is on me. <laughs> and his, his very bedazzled pauldrons, and his um, I'm very so over this part. Very manicured cuticles, and um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say for 10 minutes about Terry. Are we staying in oh, for the for the for On the bit? plus side, we're all very tired now. So. Yeah. <laughs> what so else is there to I say about Terry? I feel inspired to go to death. bed. Don't ask me. Please don't ask me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Are you resting? Yeah, I, I think don't we're going know. to. Should we rest? I don't, I don't even know what time it is here. You don't? It could be like early morning, and we could rest and then wake up in the middle of the night. We've only been traveling for like a few hours, right? But it could be Since a completely different time here. Yeah, but it's more about your internal clock, yeah, whatever you're doing. It took us quite a while to find this place. I've also <laughs> expended I mean, like my hour. six, seven, eight It took an eight hour to find this It took an hour, a little over an hour since your arrival, since you guys did your, mm-hmm. your transformations. Uh, yeah, we went to bed, we got up in, in yeah. yeah. What's that? That was, oh, that yeah. was a burp. It's I forgot like, we were you've, you've had maybe three hours <laughs> since waking up, four hours yeah. since waking up in the morning. Yeah. It's like noon in our mm. internal time, yeah. probably. I feel like we should just fucking try to do something. Yeah, so but, if we gotta find our way to some sort of prison, two options, get arrested, or ask people where people go who get arrested, which seems really fishy and stupid. It seemed like it was underground, almost spanning this entire city. Could possibly try and find a back entrance. We need mm-hmm. to talk to somebody. We just need to talk to somebody. <coughs> we could walk around for another two hours and wait till somebody gets the heebie-jeebies from us and fucks us up, or we talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the owner downstairs. With I've the already left guy. the room. Oh Jesus! I follow. I follow. Wait. We're not altered. No, you're not. No, he you already went down. Facts, 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 facts. You're not altered. You're not altered. Right. Hey, hey, hey. A quick U turn. Okay. All right, we grab him, drag oh, him back. Oh, God. <laughs> which, which, as you kind of, as Terry says, all right, Dodie, let him through. When you, as you leave, Dodie yeah. moves away from the door and kind of lets you by. And as he bends forward with like the kind of the, the taut gesture of <laughs> bowing as you pass by, you see his entire back is glowing bright red. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Terry, can he heat up to the point that it doesn't work anymore? I hope not. Probably not. Grog. I'm mm. going to say not. Spit on that. You made him, after all. You know. Right. It's, it's fine. He looks over to, to, to Percival. Right? He's going to be fine? Maybe flip. Flip sides. Just keep, yeah. keep flipping right. the sides. Oh, yeah. Dodie, <laughs> just chest Rotisserie. against the wall. Flip Dodie just kind of pancakes against the door a second time. I wish I had some bacon right now. Terry? Mm-hmm. Can you alter self again on us? Uh, let's see, that's four. I'm gonna check the character sheet that I got sent. Oh um, god, you can do anything. We might be screwed, we might have to be we us. We may have to. I, I will well, say... Well, we can cast alter self. Or take a nap. I guess I, I, I can technically do it one more time. But you'll be out of other things you can do. I will be. Out of all my things, of the big things, mm. I mean, I still can. That's I mean, he kind of jostles this, this satchel he has on the side that has, you hear a bunch of glass and things clicking. He says, I still have my accoutrement, but as far as my, uh, my devices uh, to help you guys out, I'm kind of spent at that point, but. Uh, you know, I still look the way I did when I checked in. You can let me go do all the recon. I can do alter self at will. I'm just not the best person to talk to people. 
Why don't we let the two of them go? Oh, oh God. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> are, are you, is that Grog and Keyleth? Yes. Is that a Grog and Keyleth? Uh, Haven't done it for a while, Grog uh, and Minxie. <laughs> are you and the me and a tiger? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying I'd be a tiger. Yeah. I'm just. I mean, I'm going back to our old oh. team up. Yeah, but I mean, I haven't oh. stepped in love in a well, while. It doesn't mean it's something that I should was, do right oh. now. You know, it's what we call a callback. Don't worry about it. It's, you know, what's, no, I don't want to say what's the worst that can happen. That's, what's, what's the, what's the best that can happen? What's the best outcome here? I feel like with Scanlan <laughs> gone, let's, our best talker is this one. Yes, probably the two of us. Where are you possibly. pointing over here? Uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't see. No, Grog. You know, a head of hair um, in the way. Yeah. Where'd you point? Grog and I can be very intimidating. Right, Grog? Yep. Grr. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's yeah, you know what? He might do great gear. here. I, I haven't been doing so hard. I, I feel like in you know in so many situations we just like we say, oh, what happens if we push this button? Let's, let's just, just see what happens. Let's just send Grog down. But that's what, not what I'm saying. I'm yeah. actually arguing the opposite of that. I'm saying for once, <laughs> maybe. I mean, you're a very good talker. Why don't we send the person who's good at talking down instead of uh, on a lark in sending down uh, the brute to talk? Yeah, but everything I've tried. Has it worked so far? Well, maybe they're immune to persuasion down here. Maybe, maybe all they need is a little, mm, a little jostle. Maybe you haven't been lucky. Maybe you need to give it another shot. I think you, your your average is a little bit better mm. than mm. big man. You know, yeah. We could go back to old school days, and I could always go Minxie. Little intimidation let's check. Not go no, let's not go Minxie. Like we did not walk in with a tiger. You in a cage. Yeah. I'm perfectly content to just go down there. And yeah. If anyone asks, yeah. we change you something two? more comfortable. One of you two. Just fucking go. Let's yeah. go. Both of you. You and both. You can only do one person. Yeah. Are you going to change into something, or are you just going to be totally oblivious that you're definitely not the people who walked in upstairs? I'm going to be I totally okay. okay. He's got enough for everyone. Still, it's he has just enough for one. No, no, one, no. One, one, one. He can do Which it again it, to all Terry? of us. I can do it to one person. One person. Oh. Yeah, and I yeah. go down as just backup. Up to you, and I, I can do it at you will. Go. You go. I don't think I do. You think with the capsule or without? Oh, I'm with, not to. with fine with <sighs> someone pick who goes down and talks. I, just I did. feel like Grog Percival. You're going, it's hell. This with is Grog. your game. You're now. going with Grog, sure. As backup, be my guest, Percy and Grog. Go, 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 go. Right, so as, as, as you take it, and he, he, you know, he takes the, take the coin and you kind of focus on it, your form shifts back into the previous uh, tiefling appearance. Mm. Come I grab back a soul sword, I suck it down. Have fun oh, the let's do this. Oh, he did a rail of soul, just, huh? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we head down. So, did he really? Did you did. Yeah, of course he did. He's so casual, yeah. it was like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's sounding like an oyster. And, and as, 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 as the rush hits you, oh you take a step God. and pause for a moment because the rush. Is strong and familiar. <gasps> it's similar to the sensation and the rush you had when you took a life with the pepper box when Orthax <gasps> was still holding sway. Oh. oh no. That same passage of some sort of a soul energy. And as the rush hits, that familiarity itches you on the inside, and you're a little cut off guard and made uncomfortable by it. Steady she goes, Percival. Mm. Too much? Too much. A little much? A little much. A little overwhelming? Yes, a little bit. Okay. I'm going to be meditating upon that a little bit later. Mm. Let's head downstairs. Uh, Come back, please. My hands on Grog's shoulder and Percival's shoulder and cast Bless as they walk out the door. Okay. You guys head out into the hallway. I smack both their asses. Mm. <laughs> Died in front of me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrion goes. It's <laughs> <laughs> weirdly uncomfortable. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys head back downstairs. Um, the two uh, devils that were there feasting earlier appear to have 
left, and the room is mostly quiet and empty now, except for the same uh, rough-looking bartender in the corner, and there at the same table is the red-skinned, devilish, handsome gentleman. Uh, as you walk down, you see what appears to be a small, impish creature that's on his shoulder, and he's currently conversing with it quietly. Oh, sure. And then as you guys will step down, he kind of <clears throat> to it, and it flies up and skitters off into the distance outside of the door. Turns to you and reaches over and takes a bottle off the table and fills the goblet. What comes out of the bottle? Uh, it appears to be some deep red liquid. It's Merlot. Oh. Yum. <laughs> he's watching you, but he's, he's not expecting any interface. I, I, I walk over. <clears throat> <laughs> Could I possibly entertain you with some company? It would... Uh, would be a change of pace that is quite welcome. Take a seat, both of you. Okay. Uh, the seats, uh, as they, they're heavy and they're not quite as, you know, they're heated at the base, but they're warm to the touch, but they're not burning you. Um, you both kind of pull them up and <laughs> they grind against the slate stone floor, of the interior as you plop down and sit. Shall I also fetch you a drink? That sounds lovely. What is actually available at this this hour at this establishment? Available the establishment, not this kind of drink. My personal reserve. That I can offer. I would be curious, A, I would hate to be indebted to you at this point, but I would be very curious to try whatever it is that you uh, consider to be your personal snatch. I would prefer you indebted to me. Jesus. And he kind of lifts a finger, and the gentleman at the far uh, edge of the bar kind of like stirs. <coughs> right. <coughs> Sits up and kind of Chris Farley is his pants a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Comes over with two similar goblets <laughs> and places them on the table, <laughs> and steps back to the corner. The uh, gentleman takes the bottle and fills them both, kind of finishing off the last bit he had in Grog's chalice, and sets it to the side. What may I call you? They call me Yipkish. Mm. What may I call you? Ah. Freddy will do for now. Freddy. Greg. <laughs> Freddy and Greg. Broke <laughs> <laughs> the DM. Ten God points. Boom. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck souls. That's a rush. Oh. Two points for Gryffindor. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> buddy cop, go. <laughs> so what? Um, what brings you to my fine establishment? What does the chalice smell like? It smells like a strong alcoholic wine of I'm some kind. Take inside. a big old sip. <gasps> it's good. It's very good. You're not a big fan of wine generally because you're more of a liquor and ale person, but yeah. as far as the wines you've had, it's pretty good. Your pancreas melts. This, I'm sure you know, is really good. It better be. So, well, what is your business? Honestly, cards on the table, we're in town because a friend of ours got him badly with a Rakshasa. <laughs> this is not an unfamiliar tale. We figured not. And, uh, we're definitely out of place, a bit out of sorts, and definitely out of our depths. But thank you for the rooms. I assume this is your establishment, is it not? I run it at the, uh, how do I say, a partnership with my betters. I think I understand. Bring another sip. Ah, well, regardless of betters or otherwise, I'm grateful for the sanctuary. All of us are. 
So, we, I assume, are not the first people you've met coming into town looking for Raksharsa. I have not met them, but uh, stories do swirl and find my ears. It does all of us well here to know what's going on. Well, I will admit, we have some questions. Well, perhaps I have some answers. We've heard of a, would you call it a prison? An underground series of cells beneath the tower? Beneath the tower. Beneath the city. Beneath the city. Not there. That's where we think we might find our boy. There is a prison here, yes. I know it well. You know it well. I would hope not from personal experience. Oh, no, no. It imprisons many things. But uh, I will be blunt with you as well. We live here uh, under the interest of business, yes? I understand. Information is a resource. Very, very great one. There is a prison, underground. People go there. Perhaps this is an easy question to ask that will flow free we, free, uh, freely. Mm, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Why do people get sent to that prison? What do you have to offer for my information? <laughs> what are you in the market for? I have dull things, but I get the distinct impression you're not necessarily somebody who's going to be interested in coin. I prefer not to dole out small tidbits. I prefer to bundle in larger packages. I understand. How do if I know that what you have to offer is worthwhile? I can. Hmm. I have a proposal. Hmm. Tempt me. <laughs> Obviously, we're interested in the prison. We're interested in somehow getting into the prison or possibly getting our problem out of the prison. I'm not saying that we're looking for some sort of grand mastermind or otherwise, but if you feel that you're the sort of person that would have enough information in this direction of how one might get access to the prison or otherwise and get out with their skin intact, at least most of it, um, or the sorts of people who would be interested in uh, helping such an adventure go forward, that would be worth our while and interesting. It brings up a hand, snaps his finger. As it does, the entire room around both of you goes dark. Ooh. Jet black. You still see the table before you, the drinks in your hand, and the gentleman across the way, but everything else around you just goes complete, lightless, Umbra expanse. I had too much of this wine. I don't think I've had enough. If we're to speak freely, it's best that we speak in a place that is safe to speak. Thank God. Oh okay. my God. He fucking teleported you guys away somewhere. My cost for my information is high. But I can both give you what you seek, and the means of achieving what you want, but I want a favor in trade. And I hope, if you're willing, that if we decline your offer, I hope you will take no offense. I won't take no offense, but those that listen might. That's fair. What I'm trying to say is, it behooves you to make this contract. So, what you seek is the Mentiri. Mentiri is the prison beneath the city. Wait, what does he want in return? What does he want in return? I can tell you more. I can get you there. I could probably even find out who there knows or is involved with this Rakshasa. <laughs> I 
And this favor I ask, we will lead you to this path. He leans forward after taking a big sip of his wine, finishing the last of it, and setting it aside with a heavy <laughs> on the table. I work for Utugash, one of the prominent owners and taskmasters involved in moving souls and soul goods throughout the Syria of Dis. He is slovenly, he is lazy, he is powerful, is he? and he needs to fall. Is he a pit feed? At one time, maybe. At this time, his laziness has left him a useless sack of dean shit. And I have bent under his fist and brow for far too long. I have friends now in other places. And if his business were to crumble, that void left behind could elevate me and my compatriots. Of course. Now I have friends in this prison. And the offense of travelers tearing down someone of prominence. And yourselves being still within your very mortal coils. Why, that's what this prison is designed for. For those that break the laws of the land but haven't yet passed to be ripened, to be kept, until they do, once the corruption has set them for the rest of our factory. So, you slay this creature. I can see that you are safely arrested and placed with allies on the inside. I could move you around and bring you fairly close to this Rakshasa you seek. That is my offer. This is a fair offer. I will quietly, without naming names of any kind, confer with my compatriots, and we will give you a yes or no without naming names of any kind. Very well. Before we leave, just as a personal favor, I've been touched by a demon before by a creature. Does it show here? Can you see? He gives you a strong look. I'm just gonna pull Hex up on myself. At which point you see his expression change and he rears back. He goes, hmm. It doesn't show, but the blood war leaves its scar on many who exist here. Your essence is not of the abyssal. I would not worry. But do be careful in flashing such power. I'm thankful. My last question is this taskmaster of yours. The name you gave me, is it his true name? No. True names, now that is an expensive dream. One would hope it would have made our job much easier. And mine long ago. Fair. We will meditate upon it. I will say beware the whispers. The golden armored flyers, the watchers of the arch devil himself. His paranoia seeks to know everything that goes on. And should such treachery that we talk of be revealed, well, that would be a very unfitting end to me, my compatriots, and every one of your friends. I will not speak your name in public. 
I will not speak your name in private, to be honest. You will just be our friend downstairs for now. Avoid your whispers. He snaps again, and the sphere of darkness fades, and you're back in the tavern. Unmoved. Anybody looking at us strange? No. The, the, the one person in the room there, the, the rather bulky fellow in the corner, just seems to be half asleep almost. Like, mm. Yeah. Let's finish our drinks. Keep an eye on the door, see if that strange dwarf-like creature shows up. Okay. Uh, you finish your drinks over the next couple minutes or so. It wasn't a heavy pour. Um, the uh, the Ibkesh just kind of intensely, with a slight smile, just looks you both over as you all quietly assess your positions in the discussion. No sign of that individual you saw earlier. All right. I made up my mind. Well, the rest have to do the. No, no, own. it's you and me down here. Now we're going up. <laughs> if you want your glasses back, we decide here and now. <gasps> That's fair. Back Let's back. head upstairs. We head up. How'd it go? Well, uh, a friend downstairs says, be careful about what you talk about out loud. It's pretty standard. Yeah. Apparently people are listening like, to everything. Like in here? Everywhere. Uh, maybe Probably yeah. in here. Oh. So no, no names, no specifics. God, it's good to be so cool. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> So Pretty mean. typical. <laughs> Doty is running it down. Terry goes, don't, don't write that down. <laughs> How many empty soul stones did she have while we were going? I had none. <laughs> this place is just so hot. So we switch back to little elf boy and little elf girl. Mm -hmm. Antlers. Yeah. Greg. I yeah. definitely would recommend everybody not use their real names. That's something I should have pointed out earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing here is using its real name. Did you ask him if um, if you don't look like a tiefling, if people are going to notice? I didn't. Oh. But I asked him some other things. I don't think it matters, I don't though. think it matters, either. What did you find out? Well, there is a prison underneath the city. Yes. yes. Um, Knew that. Our friend says that he could probably very likely get us in there and get us close enough to deal with our problem. Uh, I believe him. In what's the catch? We got to kill someone. It's the typical catch. We have to do him a favor. And then get arrested for it. Or he'll arrange <laughs> for us to be arrested. Uh, I understood that we kill him, and then when we go to the prison, he knows people in the prison who will make sure we find our way to the right places. But Ooh. that's the shitty part. Who do we kill? person you just spoke to? No. Someone else? Someone else whose name I will not say out loud for now. Okay. But you know it? Yes. All right. All right. How would we do that? Well, how do we ever do anything? <laughs> and why um, does he want this certain someone killed? I'm sure it's out of politics. Sure. All right. Business. It's just Business. evil versus evil here. Yeah, it's really actually quite convenient that there's no such thing as the, the right thing to do. It just sort of takes so many things off the table here. Mm. You're not going to throw a rock at an innocent person in this city. No, uh, the rock is probably the most innocent person that you're going to throw. What if somebody a rock at us? We're quite innocent. Right, right. Mm, so um, it would be a contract. We would be... Well, Terry is. A contract. Everything here is a contract. But Terry's exclusive. He can't sign any more contracts. Mm. That's true, you told me that. He would not be signing the contract. Don't say his name. I mean, Barry. Barry is exclusive. Barry Barrington. Barry Barrington. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Chin up, Barry. <laughs> Barry Barrington. <laughs> better than, don't write that either. Perry Paddington. Mm, Berenstein Bear. <laughs> Barry Paddington. It's actually, it's got a nice well, ring. I forgot your code name. We, we, we call you? Freddy. Freddy. Freddy, right. I wouldn't know that. And Greg. Is that, I mean, 
kind of is your name, is that all right? It's not really, it's a bit of it. I still like B-roll, but whatever. B-roll's good. B-roll is fine, just don't use any Freddy. real first first or last names, nothing you would sign to a piece of parchment. Freddy, how do you feel about this plan? I feel good about it. I feel like it's a terrible idea. Right, but what? do you have any amendments to it? Would you change it somehow? I would just confirm with someone of reason that we're to do this and get arrested for it, or we're to do this and, and mm. otherwise. Oh my god, how wonderful would it be if Scanlan could just dimension door... Oh, I shouldn't have said his name. Oh, could just dimension it? door down to that thing, to the room, and just slice up the little egg. Just to see where he's going. Bamf mm. out. <clears throat> oh, well, we can't, can we? Probably not. Also, I'm not trying to prevent us from following this plan, but we were warned not to make any deals with any creature. We definitely b made a deal between ourselves before we came down here. No contracts, no deals. So, so the I didn't first agree thing we that. do is make a contract. Well, <laughs> look at where we are, to be fair. I sort of knew we would Maybe have it's to. The only kind but of do we need help we getting arrested? I'm kind of with Grog. All I have to do is walk out into the square and like open my mouth and then I'll get arrested. Yeah, do we, but then do we you just can want to arrested, get arrested, arrested or do we want to actually end up where we need to be? So, my thought, right, is it? I think we have to be arrested. Breaking into a prison seems real tough. Right? Mm -hmm. At least with this guy's plan, if he's lying, the worst we get is just straight up arrested, which I would assume means all our toys get confiscated, right? Probably. Probably. So, not all of us go on the killing. So, well, a couple of us go and get arrested. Yeah, and if he's a man of his mm -hmm. word, then those people that are in get Led along to this magic place where you can go smash Chicken Little. And the rest of us. But if he's a lying along. piece of shit, like I'm sure everyone else is, we're going to need someone on the outside. I get outside. the distinct impression that most people here are painstakingly honest, which is kind of the horrifying thing about a place really? like this. I think that they, uh, that it's a lot of lying by omission. I have a thing. It might be helpful while we're here. What is it? It's a little uh, vial of oil, of etherealness. The oil can cover someone my size, and maybe Scanlan's size, uh, and it uh, no lets you... Um, <laughs> no. It's not here, so... <laughs> you walk through uh, the ethereal plane for an hour, so you can sort of bypass where you are. <gasps> A little bit, yeah, Like you a little walk bit. through walls? Yeah, I mean, you're walking on a whole parallel... Dimension. The way it was explained to me from this piece of paper, uh, is that you are parallel to where you are. I will say, having... Can't pick anything up, mm, I don't think. Having yeah. true sight, if, yeah. if anything has true sight, like the arch devils, yeah. I'm pretty sure they can see into the ethereal plane mm. with true sight. But that's only the arch devils who might have it. Mm. But it is illusory magic, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Mm. Do you... Mm. What does it say on the, on the item? Uh, well, it's the effect of the etherealness spell for one hour. Oh, right. And so for that, to be specifics on that. It's trying to sprinkle fairy dust on it, but let's just go to the rules, shall we? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Let's see here. Fifth level. Because like bank anything with true sight can see into the ethereal plane. It's like a non cool KY. Kind of. So you remain in the border ethereal for the duration, or until you use your action to dismiss the spell. During this time, you can move in any direction. You can see in here the plane you originated from. But everything there looks gray. So, yeah, it's kind of like the one ring, one but you can ring, shift ring. in any direction. You Is it considered illusory magic? Uh, it's no, transmutation. It's magic. It yeah. is transmutation. Yeah. Um, while on the ethereal plane, you can only affect and be affected by other creatures in that plane. Creatures that aren't in the ethereal plane can't perceive you, can't interact with you, unless a special ability or magic has given the ability to do so. You ignore all objects and effects that aren't on the ethereal plane, allowing you to move through objects you perceive on the plane you originated from. God, I'm really wishing we had the stones with us now. Yeah, yes. but it's a, this is a slow-moving one-way ticket. Yes. It's an hour. 
Yeah, but I mean, so you could like I could use find it your way down there. there, right? Or if we get trapped, one of us could lather up and get out. I mean, I don't know what we don't really know what we're dealing with yet. But it's just good to know that we have it in our back pocket. Uh, well, I mean, with shape change, I can change down to one of these little. The weird eight-winged insects imps, we've seen imps. flying around. Hmm. And do what? Get in. Then change into something Where, bigger. Where, to prison? Squish the egg. Yeah. And then get I out. I don't think they won't notice that you're an imp that doesn't belong to anybody. Not an imp, it's an insect. The little insects well, yeah. that have been seeing yeah. that fly oh, around. Oh, well, that's so That might be little tiny, very tiny imps, I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad idea. No, that's a lot of variables, but it is a good idea. keep in mind that when you shape change, you maintain the hit points, whatever. Of what I have I change into. So if I get down there and I get caught. You'll bamf into yourself. I'll bamf into myself. So the way shape change works is whatever mm-hmm. I assume first. Let me clarify this later, not now, because it's like whatever you had before is what you have. So do you just have one HP the whole time based on whatever you changed into first? Yes. So if you turn into like a dragon with 300 hit points, uh-huh. then that's great. The next thing you turn into cannot have more than 300 hit points. Right, but if it goes down. If it gets, if it gets damaged down to like say 10 hit points, and then you turn into a different kind of dragon, mm-hmm. that dragon will still have 10 hit points. Sure. Or if you turn into a fly that has one hit point max, and then back into a dragon, it'll be I a dragon with one, one hit point. point. You cannot regain hit points by oh, changing wow. forms with mm-hmm. the spell. But it's whatever I had before. So I can't like change into something awesome and change into something less Correct. awesome. And then back into something awesome. And still you have can those do hit it, points. but 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 you'll whenever you like squeeze Just through lose. to the tiny hit points, those carry over into the, the big, big creature. Hit points. The big yeah. hit points. So you're yeah. saying you don't bring your three hundred dragon hit points down into the fly to body. Fly. Right. You yeah. Unless it's the last to, resort or you or you have a great hit point. Yeah. I think we go perform the hit and then we leave Terry, I mean Barry, to get arrested. Oh right? Just, mm. well, no, we're, we're, we're going to do that all of like us, right? Super I mean, secret spot. No, this is a very privileged role. Really? Yep. Big time macho man stuff. Are you, are you going to get me out of the prison? Yeah. Uh, prison break style. I It'd just so don't dramatic. think we should do that to, to mm. Barry. It's not going to be one of us in the prison. He's ready for more responsibility, I really don't feel like he is. No, Sherry can't handle that. I think she might be right in this instance, but if we're going together, and you guys stay around me, we're a team, right? That's what teams do. We do things as a team. Fox Mocking. We want to go downstairs. Don't say our name. Don't whisper. Ever. Rocks. Docking. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Stop writing it down, Tony. Fox Cocking. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Womp, womp. So womp, do we say yes womp. to this? I'm, I'm. Oh dear lord. To doing the hit and then going to prison. Well, what else are we going to do? Right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not say arguing. No to this. Oh, no. <laughs> I say yeah. yes. Yeah, me too. And also always, yeah. All right. Wait. What? What? What did we just agree to? When to you killing an arch. Devil. We're well, taking the we're taking no, the spot no, Not an arch devil. <laughs> no. Wait a second. Wait a no. second. When no, no. you when you peeked it's in, a it, greater devil. Uh-huh. A big arch devil is the pope of oh. this area. When she a peeked, devil. I'm asking Keyleth, but you might need to come in here with detail. When you peeked in at Hodus, what, like how much security was around him? What was around? Didn't really him? see. Didn't see. Just saw. Just saw like fl- flashes of interior kind of and, and like pulses. boof, and then all of a sudden. Definitely something big with big red flashing wings. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, Might be Archdevil, yeah, or no. Could be I like a hit fiend or something. I, I mean, I'm kind of getting the idea that maybe Hodus serves a uh, di- dis- 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 dissipator? Dis- dis- dissipator. Yeah, yeah. Dissipator? Yeah, kind of think he serves him. So we're kind of maybe going in to kill one of his little, you know, secret spies. I think it's kind of Great. what's going on. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're um, doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Kill the thing, get arrested. Possible, possible f- bug Keyleth. Possible ethereal Keyleth as ways to get in and out. Possibly. I mean, I can always be shaped there and then have shape change later. You know, I can I can do the whole be a flying squirrel in someone's pocket like we've done before type of yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're diving. Once we kill this thing, which we will, we're diving into the unknown. Do we all want to kill this once, thing? Once, or we, just kill, once 50, we kill 50? this thing, we plane shift out of here faster than you can say. 
Oh, oh we're not, talking not about the right Ho- no. Not HOTUS. The, the, the contract well, to get to HOTUS. That's that order, that will that will confirm with our friend. That will confirm with our person, and uh, it seem like I don't want to use that term too loosely. We'll see what would be most advantageous for getting what we want out of this okay. situation. All right, so he gets what he wants, and then we see if we get what we want. How yes. easy is it going to be to kill? It this won't be easy. Let's be honest. Person. This is going to Pit suck. Fiend. Yeah, I mean, we had a. An- Fucking nanny who used to tell us nightmare stories about this. It's way worse than she described it. Pit fiendish. Mm. So, so wait, 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 wait. We're expecting the two of you to kill something pit fiendish level, and no, then all the rest. Of us. And then all of us. I what? Oh, what is happening? All of us. Yeah. We're, we're gonna kill this thing. So we all kill the thing, and then two of you get arrested, and then the rest all of us of follow us get you. All of us get arrested. We're all getting arrested now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened to like two of That's us getting much arrested? Better. That's Explain much me. better. I like Explain that. Explain to me about the contract. So like in the contract, <laughs> if he doesn't hold up his end of the bargain, like he explodes or something, right? Quite it's a magic possibly. contract. It will quite possibly be. A You're magic not gonna have to contract. sign anything. Because if we get arrested and they take all our goodies and we're in a cell. <laughs> I'm gonna kill all of you with my bare hands. We're going to ask him this downstairs. I just want to take it, take it to you, and see if everyone thinks that we're going this direction. Ugh. We'll make the most comfortable deal we can. We can, but I'm honestly, I'm very curious if anybody has any better ideas. We've already gone to hell. Let's also go to prison. <laughs> I, I, I could also. We could try and just uh, straight up espionage, prison stealth assault. this. Prison assault, and I could do a locate creature, and we could just figure out where, where Hodus is and try and completely, yeah, prison break this without uh, without signing any contracts. Full frontal I, assault on a demon prison. I'm in not the, saying in full frontal. Of? I'm not saying full frontal. Well, I'm saying through, walk us through it again. Walk well, me look, it again we're one more time. stealthy motherfuckers, right? We don't know where the prison Some is. Of us are. Well, but I could. <laughs> I could. Terry kind of raises his hand slowly and. Dodie, put your hand up. These are the least stealthy people I think I've ever seen, and we know Pike. <laughs> I mean, no offense, big guy, but. Uh, yeah. What? Nothing. He's quiet. Nothing. He's really quiet. Soup, nothing at all. His boots are made of fur. You I see? know, they're beautiful. Do you make they're those? They're very quiet. No. But you two, Carrie, are very loud. <laughs> yeah. Right, is what you're saying. Yeah. Carrie, I am. I get nervous. Barry, is there is there any way that you can like, uh, you know, big, uh, condense, Doty, put him in your pot? No. I mean, the reality is, two of us are stealthy. Everybody else is mediocre or worse. I'm really good. Okay, I'm yeah. really good. I know you're talking about you and your sister, but I'm really good too. Just want to point that out. Okay. Oh, fuck. fuck off, Percy. <laughs> fuck off. Wow. That had nothing to do with stealth. That had straight only to do with dexterity, which is not my strong suit. Hey, B Kiss, you just said his real name. <laughs> Freddy. <laughs> so, hey, Freddy, like, how long do you think? Guy downstairs will give us to decide. I figure, well, if we're going to do this, I think we should do it quickly. Oh my Listening god. No, they're not. <sighs> I, I'm not getting... supposed to make any deals. We could just try and do it on our own. The deal might put us in a position where we're totally fucked. It might. We don't even know where the prison is. You can you think. cast Locate Creature right yes. now? Yes, I can. Just cast I it. I 100% Let's see it. can. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's I do fucking it. cast Locate Creature. OK. Because, you know, part of our problem is sometimes, sometimes, always we grab the first opportunity in front of our fucking faces. So <laughs> Isn't that the way life is? Let's explore this opportunity. <laughs> what level are you casting Locate Creature at? 27. Well, it's a level two, uh, level four spell. Will that work yeah. on can you? Can you? You cannot cast it at a higher level. I can't. I mean, you can it. cast it at a higher level, but it's there's, there's it no effect. Do okay. Um. I was curious if he has he's blinded. He, he's a blind spot. All right. So you take a moment. You finish casting locate creature. You concentrate once again on Hodas, keeping a very clear image of what you saw in the scry spell. As you complete the spell, Hodas. Nothing. What? Because it's level five. Well, it has to. The creature has to be within a thousand feet. 
Oh. And it has to be within. But it lasts for an hour. It's a concentration spell. It is. Just take off running around the city, man. Boom. Marathon woman. Go get it. I can fly. I can look and fly. <laughs> He's a maniac, man. Oh, he's down I there. Can, I can go right now and fly around while it lasts for an hour. Do a, do a quick scout. How do you fly? With fucking B shape by being like a Can you do that and concentrate thing. at the same time? Yeah, that's at will. Yeah, sure. I've gone. Fly off by yourself. Nobody cares. I go with it. How do you, you go? You're not in. You're not. A, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not what? What am I not? A tiefling anymore. Yeah. I know. But she's <laughs> a big fucking bird. I mean. I w I couldn't. I don't have to be a big fucking she bird. Be I can succubus. be literally a tiny fucking bird or a succubus. All right, do you think? If I am a succubus, though, it's burning my ninth level spell, and we're done for the night. You get captured or eaten out there, we're done for the night anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hell is tearing this team apart. What were the weird imp things that I saw flying oh, around? Geez. Imps. Those are the golden I mean, armor there, things. The there, golden there, armor there, imps. There are, there are impish creatures with golden armor uh, that you saw at a distance in the sky above. Was there anything else flying other than them? Uh, there were other creatures flying, but they were too far away to really make a any decent. And some of them were just imps, just the tiny little devils that fly around, and there were some that seemed a little larger with humanoid bodies and giant leathery wings that were just coasting through. And you said this is like the biggest city we've ever seen. There are things yeah. that fly here. There are many things that fly. The first thing you saw when you looked up in the sky was at least a dozen or so winged creatures all up in the clouds. Oh, I can go. Go into the window. Anyone stopping no me? There's no window, it's window. just walls. Yeah. There's no <laughs> windows. Anyone stopping me as I alter self and. This is your game, go for it. Head towards the door? No? Do it. Uh, no do one? It. I, All right, I'm gonna go do a quick, oh, <laughs> quick Rio, pass. Be careful. Have that backup character ready. <laughs> <laughs> she becomes leader of the Ashari and dies. Oh, yeah. Come on, day. go get it. Go get it. One Keep going. Day. Momentum. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shape change. You're casting shape change. Okay. Level nine. All right. What are you turning into? Um, I'm gonna do a succubus. I okay. know. I've got a good look at them. Wait, are succubus are succubus is devils can, down here, or are they demons? They're devils. Those are devils, and we saw one of the creatures. They're fiends. Okay. Is that the whole they're point fiends. was to fly? They and fly? they're kind they're of rogue succubus agents. Succubus have flies. They're winged. Uh, I'm hoping no one, yes. no one no one questions this. Okay. So you have succubus. Oh, who? Oh, shit. Okay. Mm, uh, just quick loop. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Armageddon. I just kind of, as the tiefling, walk out of the tavern, just very intent on my direction. As I walk out of the building, I take a left, hang down an alleyway, uh, wait for to check over my shoulder, make sure no one's watching, and then went to uh, succubus and take off. Can make a stealth check real fast. Oh God. Oh, Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell is right. Fucking hell. Way to the danger zone. Just a straight. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, twenty total. No, no, twenty-one total. Okay. I forgot my proficiency bonus went you. up. <clears throat> As you exit the building and turn right and head into the alleyway, being careful. Uh, not to be seen in your uh, tiefling form, begin to cast the spell as you see two shadows step into the entranceway of the alleyway. Nope, I stop it. You okay? Mm -hmm. You stop it? Yep, and I just kind of keep walking. You just keep walking? Mm hmm. Okay. You just don't even look back, you just keep walking? Yeah. Okay. You keep walking, you can hear footsteps behind you. I start blocking around. Okay. As you go blocking around, the footsteps seem to be keeping pace with you, and there's two sets of them. Peek over, peek over my shoulder, do I get a glimpse on who they are? You see what appears to be a squat, kind of tan-skinned <gasps> dwarf-like figure. the dwarf again. Figure. Um, the features, like you expect to see like a, a dwarf, it, it appears to be a female dwarf of some kind, but they've there's some sort of Physical alterations taken place. They look like they've been either very injured and healed wrong, or some sort of corruption has taken place. But it's kind of like walking forward with this kind of hobbling gait. And to the left, you see the other entity that is just wrapped in chains, and they're about thirty feet behind you. Thirty feet behind. Thirty feet behind you. Yeah. Are we alone? 
<clears throat> it's just you and the two of them right now. Jenkins You're in the small alleyway off in the building that's a, immediately adjacent to the structure where you're staying. I, I kind of, I'm still, I imagine, within range of the tavern. Yeah. Just kind of say, I'm being followed, so mm. be on alert. Same dwarf and chainy figure. Should we come you out? Meet us out there? No, nope, just Jenga? wait a second. Okay. I'll say Jenga if need be. All right. Um, <clears throat> Stretching. I <laughs> yeah. stop. About face and light up my hands and keep the hood up. And just say, I know you're there. What do you want? And who are you? And keep, keep the hood up and, yeah. The hands down? Yeah. The footsteps slow and they get about 20 feet from you. And they stop, you keep your head down. The, uh, Dwarf figure kind of brings what's one kind of weird, swollen, twisted arm in front of the other and kind of crosses it. The chain figure, uh, you hear all the like, jangling, uh, shifting, and as, as you get a better kind of glance over your shoulder towards it, um, you can see the chains that dangle don't just dangle, they're all kind of slowly shifting and spinning around it like hundreds of small snakes that are just, just readjusting and moving across the body. Um, it's you can see its eyes and part of its nose through as the chains kind of pull across and uh, hide most of its features. Uh, the skin itself, like a deep, deep pinkish red, like a person, like a normal body that's been constricted so much that all the blood has rushed to the surface. Oh, uh, off, the, off the cuff, do they seem familiar? Any idea on who they might be? Nope. Okay. Um, but there is kind of a heavy breathing from the, the, the female dwarf figure that's kind of and they kind of glance at each other, and uh, saying, "You want to well, tell me? You want to tell me who you are? Because I don't have a lot of time to deal with this." Uh, the one, the the chain one says, "You seem to walk with a white one." Who's asking? I am asking. I could be referred to many people, including myself, so I am asking. Silence. You will bring us the White One, or you will be tribute yourself. What do you want with him? There's no response. I don't think you want me as tribute, so you'd best bet tell me what you want with him, because maybe we could strike a deal. The White One caught the attention of a creature that I wish to see pleased. Mm. Well, is this creature willing to make a deal? Because the White One belongs to me. You have ownership of the White One? Of course. Make a deception check. <coughs> Do it. Do it. It's not really oh. important. Oh. Really not great. Nope. Six total. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not entirely wrong, though. The chains kind of intensify with their rattling and clanking. Perhaps you should walk with us. Where are we going? To the one who wishes to now know of your ownership. And if I decline? Then you will no longer be able to stop us. I'm sorry, I still didn't catch your name. You do not need our name. <sighs> and that's where we're gonna leave tonight. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, hells, shit, man. Kila. Hells are great. It's 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. Cool. And that's it's a fun, fun place to pick up next oh, week. Oh my uh, gosh. Oh no. Well, it's okay, oh, you're gonna no. be sold anyway. Yeah. I could be many people. It could offer re- Science! Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Or that. Okay. Oh, or that. 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 To bring even more minis to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Just in Multiple case. bags. We can leave them here I didn't burn I'm the doing spell, that. right? I stopped it. I didn't burn the spell. I stopped it. Right? Because I was like, cancel, 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 cancel. Come at me. My vibe is it didn't burn. I thought uh, it didn't burn either. Was, I will say, just, just for the sake of this, for the sake of, does this, this roll determine this? Roll, or what's your passive perception, actually? My passive perception? Yes. Pretty good. Hang on. You gotta do something about that. This is becoming a problem. Shut up. It's like watching <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 21? I'll it's say like you canceled you it. Pringles. You did manage to just catch the movement out of the corner of your eye just as you entered the alleyway, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you, just as you were about to begin the spell, you left. Right. Yay. That's like, the only because they didn't roll very high stealth themselves. Well, cool. Thank you guys hell. so much. Nah. Fucking, fucking hell. hell. Fucking hell. Literally. Dark, dark, dark. Fucking hells. Plural, guys. Um, Things aren't going very well here. I, I think very, they're going great. This is fun. I We're love, not slaves yet. Hey, bonus. Um, you guys just scraped the surface. Uh, all right, so we'll be back here next week on Thursday. Uh, we'll also be supposed to be here on Tuesday for Talks Machina at 7. Hey. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll talk about this chaos. Um, we'll be at WonderCon April 1st, 2 to 3 p.m. For our critical panel, please come and see us. Thank you again for uh, Puzzle Quest for being our awesome sponsor Yay! tonight. Yay! Go check out our Puzzle Quest. Um, and until next week, guys, is it Thursday? Good night. We are in addiction! you please? Oh. Oh. Pumpkin spice lattes. Once again, just coffee. That's all I want. <gasps> but around here, we handle our issues reasonably, like adults. You mean? Puzzle battle. It's Tabletop Day! Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sundry! All around the world we'll get people to play! And play and play and play and play! We're celebrating game designers and the players! Cards and dice and role-playing slayers! Teams or co-op, whatever your flavor! Scream and shout, but respect your neighbors! So let's join forces all for one and one for all! If you love games, come on! Okay. April 29th is Tabletop Day!